Flubby Box and Guzzle Shucks. Yes. Yes. And we, can all, we all know how to say that, too. We can all say it together. No. Flubby Box and Guzzle Shucks. Yeah. Exactly. Yes. Exactly. Yes. Um, first up, I'm so happy to be here. D&D Life has been so much fun so far. This is the last actual play of the night. So I'm going to go around the table, introduce you to our players, and then talk about a little something before we get started. So first up, we have Adam Sessler. Hello, Adam Sessler. Yes. Yes. Oh, welcome. Helen well met. We've got Kevin Pereira, uh, the me. one yes, and only. Yes, that's my name. Thank you. Thank you. Fiona Thank Nova. Yes. What a clap for her. Yes. Mm -hmm. Nega Oryx. Yes, <laughs> yes. <laughs> Iffy Wadiway. <laughs> and, <laughs> and, and Dr. Okay. Lupo himself. Yes. He gets, a lot of, I'm so, he gets a lot of love. It's exciting to have everyone here. It's also very exciting to see what they're wearing, but especially Dr. Lupo, because he happens to be wearing uh, just something super special. He he and D&D have collaborated in I a merch like collab. Yeah, just Ooh. real quack. Just real quack. Ooh, okay. Ooh. Yeah. And oh. so, Dr. Lupo, how did this collaboration come to be? So, uh, oh, man, this was like six six months, a year ago. It turns out somebody at Wizards of the Coast watches my stream and found out that I, I wore a, a Dungeons & Dragons shirt that my mom, or my, my, my mom, my wife bought for me. Um, sometimes sometimes we're playing the same wow. that's, that's, the, that's the slip of the day. <laughs> did she did she write if a daddy's little... okay, then it's okay. All right. True. Mom, what I happens have the shirt. What happens in the bedroom set anyway. So my my wife bought it for me and somebody from Wizards re, uh, noticed it on stream one day and so they reached out through my my agency and one thing led to another and now there's there's actually three of these shirts there's uh at the dice bag that I brought with me and the dice that I have and they're all uh, inspired by uh an at home campaign yeah we we've, we've been playing the same campaign stream for like 5 years a couple nights uh wow. a month and it's kind of mind blowing that none of us hate each other yeah. uh, a bunch of them are actually moderators for the channel oh that's um, so. amazing so dope. It's pretty crazy. So you That's stream? I, mean, I, I tried it one time. That's it was okay. That's so cool. Yeah. I love it. That's awesome. Oh, yeah, that's oh, digitally. Yes. Oh, yeah. I thought you just like make so, little brooks. So the internet. Your home. Okay. <laughs> the internet. It's a series of two. He's not gonna. He's yes. not gonna. No. The, not fake, gonna, yeah. the, yeah. the internet is very similar to the Feywild. So Got we'll, yeah. we'll yeah. be fine. Ooh, okay. That's everything. Yes. Yeah. Yeah. Actually, yeah. Yeah. before we go, but you can get these uh, these cool merch items at the website, which I did happen to look up. <clears throat> It is uh, no less than designedbyhumans.com slash shop slash Dr. Lupo X Dungeons and Dragons. We really need to talk to somebody. It's so, I, it's right so easy to remember. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Right? Yeah. Yeah. You all at home got that. Well, I have a tattooed in Old English across my yeah. stomach. Yeah. Oh, I'm a, I, it's a really, really good one. Why am I not tight right now? Because that's how powerful the internet is. Adam, do you know where you are? Yeah. <laughs> good question. Perfect. Well, I heard this dragon. you may you here. may think that you are sitting at a table with six of your old and new friends, but in fact you're not. As I, the dungeon master, part the veil of reality and this stage and this beautiful exterior shot of a <laughs> fantasy tavern does no longer exist in fact because we break into the fantastical world of the forgotten realms and we come to see our players, our player characters, sleeping in a beautiful slumber and dreaming away. First of all, we have Fluffinator, the human fighter, sleeping in a bed nearby the party's headquarters in Lorisher's finest and only inn, the Blissful Wren. What is Fluffinator dreaming about? Um, very, very good things, mainly Small furry woodland creatures. Yes. Um, tasty berries. Oh, yes. Maybe a root, just to get some earthy qualities. Oh. Just, just having just a kind of a cornucopia of just you know. Yes, and the woodland creatures things. are guests at this beautiful oh, banquet. Oh yeah, yeah. I'm, I'm, I'm patting down there, enjoying themselves. Yeah. Oh, amazing. These are my best friends. Actually, my only friends. <laughs> No. That, you you may think that these are your only friends. You have joined an adventuring party, and that that shines of a lack of security for you that you may not believe you have any friends in your adventuring party. I'm just I'm I'm, I'm getting to know them. You know, they said party, <laughs> okay. and I was like, cool. I'm gonna like have a couple of wines, and mm. now I'm. 
yes. actually going places. Yes, so. that's right. And next we have K. Per the Hasman. He yes. actually is yes. outside of Lorishire. Uh, he is a human paladin asleep in a drunken stupor in Farmer Nesbitt's field after what he believes he did, which was slay an enemy. But what really happened was he used his morning star to um, de pack, unpack a scarecrow. Straw just is falling from the scarecrow yeah. and you're sleeping in the straw, but also on your morning star. It's awkward. That makes sense. Yeah, most of what I do is awkward. Yeah, yeah. yeah, yeah. thank you, thank you. Yes, you, uh, a few too many bottles of mead, but is there such a thing for Caper? No, no, there's not. Anything to erase all of his memories would be great. <laughs> right. Yeah, he once did something heroic like 10 years ago, Yeah, and he's still coasting off that. <laughs> so it's high fantasy for me. Amazing. Uh, next up, we have Mervyn Badger, Whistle Shield, the Forest Gnome Ranger, and he is asleep at the Adventuring Party's headquarters, curled up in his comfy armchair. Just a, a little bit of drool, but a little bit, you can tell that he's asleep because his um, protruding jolly belly uh, goes up and down with his snores. What is, what is he dreaming of? This is actually one of the best dreams that Merv has ever had. Uh, he told a joke at the dinner table, and a couple people chuckled. So, <laughs> so I this feel, is the bar. Yeah. 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 yeah, relatable. Yeah. relatable. Yeah. Is everyone okay? Uh, <laughs> we, <laughs> great question. Uh, There's no. gonna be a lot to talk about after the session. <laughs> Yeah, I know we, we, we all met in group. That's okay, the thing. Yeah, hold on. The thing about Dungeons and Dragons is you get to be the hero you've always wanted to be. <laughs> and we are. And, and we are. We really are grounded in reality. Yeah. What, if, what if this is my best self? <laughs> is that okay? That's like that's like that one tweet to or that one text to Tinder I made that was just the gift going of a bear going hi and then a, and then the guy responded come on you can do better than that and I texted back what if I can't <laughs> yeah this is the extent of my talent well, I think the thing is once you disappoint yourself in your fantasy life yeah like there's no coming back yeah. like yeah. it's so you just you know just get that bar low yeah, I know who I am yeah, yeah. You know? no exactly. Merv Merv that's the best dream you've ever had a couple people you know Acknowledged you and saw you. Sensible That's great. Chuckle. Good, sensible Congratulations. Chuckle. Thank you so much. Next we have <laughs> Full Gandor, the Warforged Monk, taking a century's rest in the HQ's common area. Um, he actually is watching, he's looking on, he's facing Merv in his chair. And what, but his, he's off, like his lights are kind of, his, uh, his eye lights are kind of blinking as there's sentry resting. What is Full Gandor dreaming of. Well, there's an open meadow, large blades of grass. Now this is my As liking. far as the eye can see. And there is a Warforged woman and a Warforged child <gasps> calling to me of the hills. And I stand there in my Roman wares and staring over the meadows. And I'm like, I'll come back to you one day. I'll come back to you. Oh, wow. Isn't yes. that right? And, 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 and Ridley Scott said, <laughs> see? <laughs> see? <laughs> see? <laughs> All right, wow. that's great. Let's move on. <laughs> Incredible original <laughs> content. <laughs> yes. <laughs> Wait. He runs his hands over the tops of the wheat. He sniffs the soil. Those like dripping from his hand. If you listen carefully, Enya is somehow melting over the setting sun. That's right. I love it. Wait a second. I'm, I feel like I've been here before. <laughs> um, and as and as Paul Gandor uh, seems to peer forth at Merv, what he actually sees is two, not one, but two gnomes in this comfy armchair because Claude, the rock gnome bard, uh, snuck in and curled up next to Mervyn in the middle of the night and is now using his jolly gut as a pillow, despite whether Merv is aware of it or not. What is Claude dreaming of? Oh, well, it's Claude. Oh, Claude. Claude. oh boy. <laughs> Claude. Alors, Claude, you see, uh, is just dreaming of uh, baguettes. Oh. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Loves, loves, loves eating. Mm -hmm. As you know, very, very French of him. Mm -hmm. uh, with, his little, with his little espresso. His little what? Espresso. His pesto. His pesto. His pesto. His pesto. His pesto. His pesto. His, 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 his coffee. coffee. He's drinking a tiny coffee. His coffee. Yeah. 
It's his coffee. Oh, yeah. It's like one of the Sorry. ones they make in the... Uh, Espresso. In yeah. Europe. Yeah. 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 Very French, very European. <laughs> okay, um, got it. Yes, uh, lovely, lovely dreams. Uh, all just, yes. Yeah, more Dungeons food, okay. Uh, yes, I love it. <laughs> I love Welcome it too. Look, <laughs> Dungeons yeah. and Dragons. Look, Dungeons and Dragons. <laughs> Great Dungeons and Great Dragons. on here. Oh, we oui, oui. Perfect. Oh, my God. And finally. I am the French fighter. <laughs> <laughs> yes, and if you ever lose it, we're back to baguette. <laughs> okay. Oui, oui. Baguette. baguette. Okay, and finally, we have Pendemir Persuvius, the Seder Bard. Um, in the, in the party's headquarters, there is a living chaise lounge. It is a soft and comfy fainting couch built out of soft mosses and grasses that stay magically alive. Y'all, this is the nicest thing the headquarters even has. And uh, Pendemir is daintily spread upon it the, with his satyr goat legs um, crossed daintily at the end of it. What is Pendemir dreaming of? Well, if it were me, Pendemir, oh. I would be dreaming of a party. Good times, great friends, and wine. Definitely wine. As much wine as you could possibly muster. Wine. You see, me and wine go way back. There's a decent chance that the entire reason that I am where I am today is because of wine. You see, I used to be a teacher of sorts, the uh, perfect, one might say, uh, tutor of a prince of the Fae. But just so happened, uh, perhaps some of their wine might have gone missing. It may have been into my mouth. It may have been a majority <laughs> of the wine. You see, they might actually not have any wine left. And there's a problem because a number of the handmaidens uh, also were into the wine, uh, as, mm. as I was also into the wine. And the royalty did not like it. So I'm making my mission to seek out the wine that is cursed. I swear I did not do those things that people say that I did, all right? Okay. With, in certain places, in the stairwells and hallways and, 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 and whatnot. The wardrobe, you could you would be surprised how many people you could fit in a wardrobe. It's, it's interesting. That being said, I will find the wine and I will drink it. Oh. That's the plan. Ah, uh, trust him. That's um, a very uh, different uh, answer. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yes, yeah. A, a dream it's that includes. It's one that they would not tell you. Yeah. <laughs> That's for sure. <laughs> <laughs> a, a dream that includes the present and the past. Good, wonderful backstory. But you all are, seem to be having really pleasant dreams. It's just that what you realize is that they're all contrived and that you aren't in right. the material plane as you blink to consciousness. This is, you awake inside a swampy, murky, what seems like a forest, but it'd be hard to tell because your faces are smushed into the ground. There's about three inches of dirty water on the ground. You're all covered in this, in this um, just wet goop. Uh, there's also purple grasses that climb up, poke you where you're laying. Uh, they feel more feathery than sharp, and as you rub against them, they kind of tinkle with a tinkling sound. Um, at some points, if you actually reach out to grab one, it almost giggles before it dissipates like a dandelion. And as you look around, uh, unless you stay face down in this murky water, you do notice that you are under a stone-built bridge. What do you do? What do we do? This sounds kind of cool. Yeah, I'm, cool. I mean, I like, I, I definitely, you... Fluffinator likes new things. Oh, and this amazing. sounds like a, 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 a newer new. version of new. Um, yeah, and yeah. things that giggle, I'm, giggle. I'm, I'm down. Great. Like that's so good. you're you're kind of playing with the purple grasses. Oh, yeah. Yeah. yeah, amazing. Will you roll a quick perception check? Yes. That would be a d20, which is the yes. Got it. Perfect. Eight. Eight, and then you get to add your perception bonus on it, which is this block right here. Of your skills, they're in alphabetical so the, order. Yeah, perception. So, uh, yes. My perception. Ooh, that's a plus three. A plus three and so 11. 11. Okay, that actually uh, in D and D is not considered too no, high. No, it's not. You're pretty excited. It was a great. He was excited effort. for the math of it. Yeah, yeah. he's like. You should yeah. feel good that you rolled the dice. Yes, you know, you really, congratulations. Really so you perceive situational unawareness is my <laughs> thing. <laughs> but I will say, you do notice that these grasses um, have a vibe to them, and it is 
Absolutely. And it seems to be coming directly from you. So when you pluck them or touch them, um, they giggle. And you specifically see one who, who kind of straightens up and shivers a little. And uh, she goes, me, me. And who are you to deny a grass a pluck? No. So you pluck the grass. <laughs> Right. And and you get a vibe that she's like, you're here, you're here, you're really here. I like I like feeling welcome. Perfect. Does anyone else interact with the environment? Yes. Uh, I think immediately you said we started face down. Right? You do, yeah. Merv senses that he's not in his bed anymore, and he goes, okay, you guys, oh, if no. this is another prank, you know I find those gosh darn funny, and you got me real good this time. But uh, if you could pull me out of the water, I would sure appreciate that. And as you, uh, are you talking to your friends? Yeah, he's assuming that they're watching and laughing somewhere. Amazing, yes, yeah. the rest of your party is right nearby. If anyone wants to give Merv a leg up or a hand up. Yeah, uh, <laughs> Folia will just lift up Merv's <laughs> elbow. I don't like pranks. I don't like pranks. Prank, uh, if, if someone pranked me, oh, they're, they, uh, who pranked us? And as you look around, you realize you actually are not alone. It's not just you and the adventuring party. If you are seeking someone to fight, oh boy, there is a target. You see a hulking ogre lady and her, she's got real, She's dressed in leaves and her she's got real saggy swinging titties. And she's just up there and she's got like real uh, ratchet and, and murky hair just dripping down from here. Uh, she, her, she's got a big old underbite, teeth missing. And she goes, hey, it's me. How did you get here? Oh, well, I thought I got pranked, but if I'm pranked by you, you know, I don't got any problems with that. I'm just trying to see, you know, where we at and located. I think that we should group up, form an alliance. Uh, maybe, uh, you know, uh, I ain't see you around here. Wait, wait, what? You're immediately my friend. <laughs> yeah, yeah. I mean, or more, you know, I, you know, I want to leave oh, it very open. Wait. I would like to see what's going this... on with this. Oh, wait. Hold on, am I picking up a vibe? I mean, we all picking up whatever we can pick up right now. I, <laughs> I would like to be put down. No, no. <laughs> still, you're right here, still, you're right here. You, no, you, just gotta, you, you, you gotta be my wingman, relax, okay. relax. Okay. Yeah. Okay, so we, you went straight from aggressive <laughs> to um, interested, I guess. I, I believe what my friend is trying to say <laughs> is he would like to get to know you, if you're available, if you can fit it into your very busy schedule. I do have a busy schedule, and I, this is quite a surprise. Six humanoids and a fae. True. Who weren't here before, but are now. This is, well, this is the best day of my life. Oh. Okay, good, that's yeah. good for one of us here. Uh, <laughs> question, where exactly are we? I'm used to waking up in strange places and checking my person, but I, I didn't expect to ha wake up to that. And could you please stop swinging them? It's, I'm just a little dizzy. Well, oh, sorry. This, this is my this is my resting. Uh, my okay. I rest. Like, yeah, your idle moves are a little my, distracting. I, I, it's, it's just it's how I, I okay. I, yeah. I'm gonna just have you relax. Her body, her choice. I'm no, gonna see. I'm gonna okay. see. Okay. Okay. I'll put him away. No. Oh, no! no! <laughs> <laughs> she brings him over her shoulder. I back. Um, and this is your first interaction in the Fey Wild. Weird stuff happens. This is not the material plane. The <laughs> well, yeah, she, she's dressed yeah. in leaves. She's dressed in just leaves. No. Um, and the, was it all from the same tree? Wonderful question. <laughs> uh, <real. laughs> Yeah, the most important question of all. Were you, were you, were you like to say where we are, not sure. the source yeah. of the foliage. Yes, okay, no, roll an intelligence check. Is it like this Abercrombie might... and Birch? <laughs> uh, that's is it another perception? Uh, yeah, no, roll a straight up intelligence check. This is just. Oh, oh I can already tell you that. A, a uh. <laughs> <laughs> oh, roll a d20, and then uh. actually we'll do nature. So, uh, so add your nature, which is in the same right. block. Okay, that's a four, which is probably not as good as the eight. Yeah, it's not. And, but you do, have a, you do have a plus for and nature. And I have a nature, yeah, plus two, so that's a six. Yeah, it's a six. Also below the eight. You, you know for a fact that she is dressed in the exact same tree, and in fact, it's probably a tree from the material plane, and you only have one tree in the material plane, it's oak. So they're all oak leaves, and that is what you believe. What do you all right, I'm like, well, that's a great oak outfit that you have on. Wow. 
Um, well, if that's what you want to call it. Uh, what is oak? Does oak mean cool? It, it, is oak like oak fashion? No, it's just a tree. It's just a tree. Oh, yeah. It, well, you're wrong. <laughs> I'll just tell you, you're wrong. That's not what it is at all. No, that, that, no. They're, 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 they're really common. You can find them anywhere uh, in the material plane. I see, I see. Oh, mon dieu. Oh, boy. Who is the ogre with the big titties? Oh, <laughs> Her, I, you, wait, oh I, my god, I need to get in there. The vibes were so much I, better I before the rest of y'all started talking. I, I need mean, to get in there. Who are you? Oh, oh, there, are you? I heard you ask him, and I was wondering when I was going to be addressed. Who are you? Yes. <laughs> <laughs> oh, lady, titty lady. Who are you? Yes, I am. So, I'm Marg. Oh, okay. Marg, hi. I'm, Marg, I'm Marg. technically a troll. I live under this bridge, uh, bridge which... Marg is Marg's Bridge, and this is where you've come through. The thing is, I, this is a portal. I, I guard this portal, it's, it's awesome. Um, but normally I have a bit of a heads up of people leaving or coming through, so I, I, it's really curious to me that you all just manifested here. Um, but it's, it's wonderful, I love that you're here. Do you, do, do you know why you came here? I think I speak for everyone when I say, first and foremost, my deepest apologies for intruding on your very humble abode under this very lovely bridge. It's a wonderful bridge. Oh, One yeah. of the best bridges I've yeah. ever seen. Oh, yeah. Wonderful uh, drips. Real but moist. It's, it's, it's oak. My <laughs> yeah, 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 friend appreciates yeah. the moisture. Very yeah. big fan of moisture. Bad. Yeah, oh. bad. Oh. I don't like Thank it. you so All much. All that being said, yeah, I don't like it. we have Absolutely no idea how we, we, we got here. Now, uh, I'm from around these parts, but not these parts. Now, would, would Pendamir recognize? Yes, so Ooh. Pendamir, there is one thing that you do, that you do know about the Feywild. And this is true for the entire Feywild, that there are, there are domains within them. And each domain has a guardian of sorts. And the guardian kind of determines a, uh, the, the vibe of the whole domain. And this could be the size of a town, it could be um, a lair or a house or a cave. It could also be a country. Each domain has its own size. And in the Feywild, it grows and shrinks um, and time doesn't really also matter. So geography is, is not really of sorts beyond just what the domain is. Now, you also know that there, there is a way that you, would ha that you would have gotten to this domain. Um, and you sense it. You especially, being from the Feywild, being Fey, that in the Feywild, uh, there are pacts that are made, um, prophecies, legends, curses, that are just considered like damn true. And these, these act to um, kind of shackle people or give them extra powers. And you feel, you know that you have been pulled here to Fulfill a pact that you're not aware of making. Yikes. That's it's, a lot of info right there. This has a lot to do with the wine, I feel. Mm -hmm. Speaking of which, you wouldn't happen to have any wine, would you? Uh, you can always drink what you got. Um, I, I like this brand of swamp water. Nice. Mm, bog yeah. stuff. I, oh, oh wow. bog I stuff. I appreciate yeah. the offer. We're going to have to pass for now. Thank oh, you very much. All right. yeah, I mean, this is this. this would technically be like your bath water, right? Like the, like that we're just sitting in here. I wasn't going to say I, I know, I know, that's why it's weird, but she, you know. <laughs> she leans in and goes, yeah. Oh, I'm going oh. bath water. I'm like, I'm all in on these vibes. <laughs> uh, <laughs> um, I'm like is always really ready for something new. So can I have a cup? Yeah. Well, I appreciate your loneliness. You more like like I understand. Yeah. I understand. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Yeah. But, yeah. but I'll offer you. Whether you uh, uh, for the rock, no, 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 tree, no, or, no, no, or no. more. Okay. Yeah. Yeah. So, so it's you know? hard. It it's hard. Since you drunk it. You always have to be there for it, though. <laughs> Bluffinator has just partaken in an offering from the Feywild, and you know, too, that in the Feywild, gifts and presents are actually extremely valuable currency. So, Morg has basically just given you a gift, 
and that means that you you just feel so enlightened. This tastes like a sweet drink. Um, not too sugary. Not, we're not going all the way Kool Aid, but it's not quite uh, just. It's not quite just zest of Lacroix. So it's just this. It's just berries and and joy is in your mouth right now. Yeah. And you can you can we'll give you you can you can sense everything that's around Jeez. you now for just a quick second. Mm -hmm. And what you sense is for for lack of everything else is pretty chill, but you hear. Um, the sound of paw prints moving together like this. And it sounds like a, a little bunny person hopping towards you. And yeah, do you, what do you do? Um, yeah, I, I, I think I head to the sound. I mean, the, 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 Bath water was good, so this is probably got to be. <laughs> so I mean, every everything thing. seems to be just coming up roses or, or mushrooms, really. Let's be honest. Um, and so, yeah, I'm 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 gonna go look for uh, what 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 the source of the sound is. Okay, so and we, I'm like, hey, Pandy, can I call you Pandy? I, <laughs> listen, I'm not even sure what you're really supposed to be. Are you a human or are you a rabbit inside a person? What's the deal? Go what's what's going on over there? Let's talk about it. Well. I'm not sure yet. I'm definitely a person <laughs> on the exterior, but uh, as you can see, you can just shine one you know, object at me and I'm like, down, I'm okay, let's do it. So it's kind of like, yeah, Scooby-Doo meets human. It's like if Shaggy and Scooby melded. Amazing. Aww. Yeah, I think you I mean, while we're having yeah. sidebars, do I just walk up to people that you're flirting with and start drinking their bath water? Because I gotta say, that Listen, was whack. My friend, Ooh. it's not worth it. I, I, it's not I'm worth, just no, saying. I'm, you have a lot more to offer than he does. I, I, okay. By so, now, are we all hearing the footsteps? Because I'm a little concerned. <laughs> that, that something well, wouldn't be. was approaching. I, so wanted so to, I just wanted to touch the titties. And I didn't get to touch it. Fluffinator, Fluffinator, you see your friend Fluffinator um, perk his ears up, and as he moves towards it, uh, full Gandor just pulls him aside and is like, "Bro, come on, man." Um, talks, talks him down. And in the meantime, uh, there's really no other time because the the little rabbit folk, uh, a herringon, which is uh, basically a humanoid little bunny in the Feywild, definitely a Fey, um, comes bounding up. Um, he's He's short, he's got little blue shorts on that just look made out of cotton. Um, and he's holding, a, he's holding daintily a teacup. Um, and he goes, wow, it worked. I can't believe it worked. You're all here. And the teacup um, boils and bubbles and uh, it's as if it's boiling and bubbling through a, uh, like a tea kettle, but there's no tea kettle. It just whistles. <laughs> And he goes, I know, right? And he says, well, oh. I'm so glad it worked. Um, all six of you are here to fulfill my pact. And Marg goes, well, at least we know the answer to that. Great, I'm sorry, who are you? Uh, oh, <laughs> I'm Tip Tap. But welcome to War Deer. War Deer. War, war Deer? Yeah. War Deer. War Deer. War, war Deer. Do you, have you, do you know what War Deer is? Have you heard of the Do I know what War Deer is? Um, you might know the domain War Deer. Let's do a history. I'm going to take out my Morning Star just to be safe. <laughs> <laughs> I'm just going to take it out and just whirl it around. Uh, just to, you know, just to be safe. Okay. A six total. A I, six do, total. Hey. I have your dice, I think. Yeah. 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 <laughs> did you take my dice? During yeah, the break, right. did you take my dice? No, we had a pact. Oh, God. <laughs> <Fair enough. laughs> we both have to suck. <laughs> war Deer, uh, you have no idea what it is, but you, I will say you do get the sense that because you have heard of it it's probably one of those very small domains one that maybe uh just it seems like a, in the material plane might have five villages or five families living among off a, the beaten path yeah off the beaten path Rhode very island. rural yeah it's very rural yes. it's basically the same thing Rhode yeah. island yeah. and this place that there uh, Rhode world, island world, i believe world, in real yeah. life is also uh, a domain within the faith Magical well, I wouldn't there. know. I'm, I I kind of was born here, and now I'm just here. So, uh, welcome to War Deer. Uh, this is me. I'm Tip Tap. I'm uh, who I am. Um, a, a troubled little herring gun boy, and uh, and this is my friend, uh, Glug Bulb. Glug Bulb. Uh, it's my it's my teacup, and uh, it's my pal. Say hello. <laughs> yeah. So. Hello. Hi. That's weird. Uh, hi. Is it Tookie? 
What is that? It is talking. Mm -hmm. Yeah, it's it's speaking to me. Um, it, it I looks tasty. Is it wine? Yeah. It isn't wine. I it's can I check this? Wine. Can yeah, we check to see if it check, is wine? Let's check yeah, I mean, wine. yeah. Is that all right? Yeah, let's sip your friend. <laughs> <laughs> Let me sip your friend. I mean, I, 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 I would yeah, I am. Some. She refills. I want some. Oh, oh okay. And as as you drink, you're filled with a memory of home. I like how he does it. Teacup with two hands. It's a very long time. Still in this hand. Yeah. 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 In the 60s of war she sure. must be absolutely <laughs> messy. <laughs> <laughs> and full hand, or as you sip from the cup of glug bulb, you actually feel something appear in your, uh, we'll say, your war-forged container as it falls in your inner compartment. Um, well, are these balls. euphemisms for something? I think this one's different. This okay. is actually, Ooh. yeah. It's and like, you Ooh. receive, as you Ooh. open up your compartment, a <coughs> gift, a gift. Oh my God. Gandalf, what happened? This is a... This is a, it's a gift from, glu, glu, sorry, blood bulb. Oh, it's, it's like a tiny cauldron of sorts. Oh. Yes. Yeah. So you receive, I wrote them all down, um, a small pumpkin-shaped cauldron Ooh. carved out of bog oak. Mm. Hey. Yeah. Still up. Cool. Hey. It still, still counts. Yeah. Yeah. Cool. Yeah. I know someone who shops there. Yeah. <laughs> um, and immediately you feel very protected and guarded in the Feywild as if this domain were here to protect you and, and guide you. Well, thank you for the gift. <laughs> and uh, uh, Tip Tap says, uh, I recommend you all actually drink from Gl Glug Bulb. She has plenty of gifts for you all to help complete this quest. Merge right. is going to tilt his head back since he's still being carried. Could you put her, her down, please? Uh, uh, put them down, uh, just, uh, uh, Can okay. you put Mer down? Oh, uh, don't worry. Thank oh, you. Okay. That's, that's my friend. You, that's you, my friend. Okay. That's my friend. Right. Yeah. Are you the known Badger? police? Yeah, are you the known police? You, 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 you got the gnomes. Known police. You got the. You, 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 you. While okay. they're bickering, okay. I'm gonna just, take yeah. the cup and also take it. Okay. <laughs> and, le and let them continue. Yeah. Yeah. I'm and, arguing with in, you. <laughs> in your pocket. In your pocket. Uh, another treasure appears. Do the rest of you sip um, yeah, of the I, I, cup? Yeah, I'll, 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 I'll take a hearty glug. Okay, well, we'll do you last, actually. But, uh, <laughs> I, would, I would like to drink, I would like to drink the yes. drink. Yes, oh, this yeah. is for you and Cape her. I feel like Fluffinator has to go last because there's a difference between a sip and a large gulp. <laughs> I said right. glug. Sorry. My, this is a large yeah, glug. Yeah, glug 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 oh. oh, yeah, I got a clutch. <laughs> <laughs> No. Wow. All right. So that's All right. Within them, you each find a treasure. And Pendemir, you have received a tiny beehive wig made for pixies or sprites. Oh, perfect. Very fancy. Oh, I absolutely don it immediately. <laughs> yes. And as you put it on, you it it grows to your head and you my look horns straight are still still come out of it though, right yes oh, perfect god yes. And you look straight out of 1960s wow. real life uh you're glorious in all of your satyr beauty and you're ready to party this I is like, like absolute perfection now yes this is the perfect headpiece <laughs> perfect and mervin um you have received a tiny wooden box containing a cro croquet set sized for pixies or sprites but there are no balls, there are just mallets. Oh. Sad. This feels like a metaphor for Merv's life. <laughs> <laughs> no balls, just mallets. <laughs> and Caper, you have received a small vial of liquid with a note attached with a string. Uh, the note says, Fomorian spit in common, mm. do not drink. Oh. 
Anybody uh, of course. familiar with this Fomorian spit by no, any chance? No, but I would like uh, to drink it. Yeah, yeah. yeah. It's it's it quite specifically says to not drink it. Though. It definitely yes, says it that, but good. I 100 yeah, percent. I know we 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 kind of do it well with the drinking. Yeah, yeah. I do I find that, that I agree one. with the notion of drinking right. it as well. Yeah. 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 I feel like thus far we've all been having a little sip, and I feel like so I'm gonna I'm gonna share a little sip if I can do that. You're gonna share a sip, or are you gonna take a sip? I'm gonna take a sip first, and then if I'm capable of sharing after, I may pass it around. Okay, yes. go ahead and take a I'm sip. I'm going to raise it to my lips. And... Ooh. Yeah, good, bro. <laughs> good. <laughs> so as you take a sip, this is this is unlike the um, kind of flowery tea that uh, Glugbulb gave off when you sipped her. This is a this is definitely a party liquid. It's an alcohol that you've never tasted before. Let's um, talk. You, you in fact, I have don't know never. If I can right now. Um, <laughs> I would have you roll a constitution check, but this is the Fay Wild and it's random, baby. Uh, so you are you are feeling so powerful in yourself, but you're also Aww. drunker than you've ever been. So you definitely <laughs> you definitely feel protected and at home in the Fay Wild. You have forgotten a lot of your past, and this feels really good for you. Um, you're tanked, though. Yeah, I'm amazing, basically. Once again. Do you still want to share <laughs> the Fomorian I, mean, I, would, I would like, yeah, I would like okay. to yeah, be, I, mean, I would like to be like how Kepper, uh, the, what's his name? <laughs> <laughs> Keeper. He is a good has been. He does not know his own name. He has been a good friend, friend right? Uh, yeah. Uh, yeah. Chin, 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 yeah. Chin. Whatever. Oh, amazing. Okay, so as soon as you take a sip, it's wildly different from what happened to Caper. Oh, no. <laughs> <laughs> you on my level? Not oh, check. No. Not check. Oh, no. Claude, Claude, what were you wearing before? Uh, it's little to nothing. I like to show my body. <laughs> okay. Uh, very beautiful body. And Yes, uh, and a rock, uh, so rock just like, uh, yeah, just like a, uh, a, a thing, cloth. you know, like a towel, <laughs> a to or just something, a towel. like a blanket or something. Okay, yeah. well, that towel has gotten severely upgraded. Now, instead of a belt holding your towel in place, and, be, and you have a series of pixie sprites decorated, decorating themselves like a oh, belt I love around pixie you. Sprites. Oh. I love them. And They're so pretty. Yes, and instead of just a towel, this is. Um, a viscous pink liquid that is that just rides in the exact right place. Uh, think of it like spandex, if you will. But okay. this, it's really just liquid, it's like and it's Pepto Bismol. Yeah, it's it's Pepto Bismol, but with a, a unicorny sparkle. Ah. And you are now de decorated to the nines. You feel absolutely. Uh, like you're you ready like my, to go like to a party. Uh, like yeah, yeah. But you are, you actually are not drunk. You just feel again I protected did, and guided bet. by the fair one. This spit. Are you faking it? It's so good. Are you faking Man, it? It's so Are good. you faking being and drunk? What? You're like, go I'm ahead. Drunk. I'm awesome. Okay. It does is, there, is there any left in there? Oh, yes, there is. It's, a re it it's just like... Does it at least taste relatively buddy. close to a notion of wine? <laughs> to the brim. <laughs> go for it. Very good. I, uh, I absolutely imbibe. Bottoms up. <laughs> Great. Hey. And, and as you yeah, drink, yeah, okay, yeah, yeah, yeah. guys, yeah, yeah. we're just gonna drink things. We're like, so there was, a camp, <laughs> there was a campaign. We're just gonna drink the <laughs> whole time. Yeah. You and guys I, show up under a bridge. You get hammered. The end. And I'm gonna just keep making up yeah. stuff that happens. Um, <laughs> <laughs> it's a party. I, it I said don't drink, but we drank it, so we're gonna keep going on these <laughs> magical. It's a party. Right into here. the bog. I didn't know how we were supposed to party. You're in the doing it right. Wait, you're playing. Uh, Dungeons and Dragons. Um, Good job. But uh, yeah, job. we're we're making these things up as we go. So as you drink it, uh, yes, you have your you have your beehive wig, and mm. when you drink it, um, you get freckles. <laughs> 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 oh, but it's so cute. Hey, you get your little freckles. Absolutely <laughs> wonderful. <laughs> Not a better thing yes, could have happened. It's a um, fantastic. And and someone it's doesn't have the right SPF. I <laughs> Claude, what you have uh, what you have in your pocket is um, a, a little page of sheet music. It's only four and three quarters measures of a tune on a tiny page. Claude, sorry. Oh, so that's Claude, me. That's what you oh, that's me. Sorry, I'm I so did, sorry. I, did, I didn't yes. understand. Okay. Oh, what what is it again? It is a tiny. I was looking right at Pendamir. Sorry, you guys are both bards. Um, it's all right. It's the freckles. I'm, yeah, I'm so the freckles. Now. We look the same. You now. have oh, cute, yes. cute all as a bards look the same. Cute as a you have a, a page of sheet music. It's a tiny page. Okay. It really only has three and three quarters oh. measures of okay. a song written on there. All right. Okay. And uh, I guess that leaves us is, with. Is that the uh, Darude Sandstorm? <laughs> 
A classic Remy's Corner. Yeah, yeah, yeah. We don't have a camera to cover it, so no, I got it at Kay's Jeweler. It's like, one of you. It's a thousand dollar little trinket. Sessler, I mean Fluffinator. Um, what you have, what has landed in your pocket. It's a, it's a large septum piercing, I'm assuming. <laughs> what the hell? It actually, <laughs> okay. <laughs> Oh, that's that tracks? Yeah. No, yeah. It fits perfect. Yeah. Yeah. It, is, it is. Um, you know, it, it is a large iron fingernail of a creature that you don't know what it is, but it, it's a large iron fingernail. Seems to have, I don't know, it's from the Fair Wild, y'all. Okay. That's, wow, thanks. <laughs> Yeah, that's, you know, that's a reaction. Remember, I, like, I love new things. <laughs> yes. Wow. So, um, wow. as, as you have unwrapped your package, um, packages and, and little trinkets, uh, Tip Tap uh, comments on each one of them. And to Pendemir, he goes, Oh, look, it looks like you got a flubby bonk. And to Merv, he says, You got a guzzle shuck. And to Caper, he says, A blither boof. I love those. Yeah. And Full says, A <laughs> dapple flutel. And to Fluffinator, oh, A torgy nubbins, of course. Oh. And Claude, it says, That's a cudger bag. Cudger, uh, Yes, yes, yes. Yeah. Yes. yeah, and I have them written down so you don't have to. <laughs> All right. So who's your boss? So he he starts he he tells you that uh, you I guess you received a, a beautiful gift from the Fay Wild because I had a pact with um, my mother to help me whenever I called because she she abandoned us. Oh, Very no. sad. And Very and sad. the high court the fairy court decided that she needed to pay it back. And so all of my brothers and sisters uh, got this pact that we got to call for her help whenever we uh, wanted. But um, <laughs> you all killed her <laughs> in the material plane. She was, a, she was a bad mother, don't worry about it. She was a bad mother, that's why oh this pact existed. Don't worry about it. Uh, yeah, we're not, gonna, we're not gonna get too I'm, deep into I'm that. Okay, I'm okay about all this. right. What, it was his idea. Yeah, uh, I okay. It may it's, have been, I don't remember, but what, 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 can, can we can we help you in some way? You like, have it, to. Oh, okay. <laughs> because when in the Fae Wild a pact is made, it the people or persons who in who kill that person, uh, if the pact is is not yet finished, it you all inherit it. So um, okay. you have to help me. Oh. Uh, You're well, gonna fulfill my Jeez. mother's pact of helping me. You had, yeah, you had a pact with your mother. Yeah, you killed her. That's right. And now it's our pact. Well, That's right. we yeah. don't know if we killed her. We don't, we don't know. It was an accident. You we don't really killed really her. No, no she's. No, we actually she's definitely dead. stabbed her well, a lot, uh, repeatedly. Uh, uh, well, well, <laughs> without end. Oh, it's no who, who actually did it. You know what I mean? The so, box, so what? Me. What was the pact? That uh, you the had pact there? was that when I was in deep trouble, which I am, I could call forth on the pact, and my mother would have to come and help me the best that she could. Okay, who are you in trouble with? Oh, that's a good question. It's actually the guardian of Wardir herself, Griselda. Griselda Gallywag! Oh, this is crazy. Just to help us find her, describe her physical appearance for me, please. Okay. That is crazy. I would okay. also <laughs> like to know. Yeah, yeah. You like know, we to gotta find her. Okay. We gotta <laughs> find her. Okay. We gotta, we gotta <laughs> find her. <laughs> oh. Hey, hey, it's okay. I, I'll lead you right to her. It, oh. I have to do that. Um, so anyway, it, it's going to be fine. I, How about this? I will describe her, though. I'll start with the hips. <laughs> <laughs> you know, the natural place uh, to middle start. Out. Yes, middle out. Middle uh out. -huh. Are we yeah, gonna scan yeah, up or down? Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> it's uh, well, it's dealer's choice. We'll see what happens. Who knows? You just go lateral. We really don't know. Let's be honest. So, uh, okay, so her hips are 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 wide. I would call her thick. Um, oh. She's got she's got deep green skin. Um, right. Warty, lots of warts. Okay, uh, right. and, and I. Good. Uh, maybe on her hips, maybe not. I actually haven't seen the under under parts of those things. But yeah, I guess we'll go up. Um, and then her then her figure goes in, and then it goes back out in a matronly oh. way. And then <laughs> this is like a and oh, then the shape and of then, an hourglass. And then her face. The biggest thing I know about her face is that it looks painted on, and it, and her mouth actually looks painted too, almost like a doll. She, I know she. 
she, she always she's always talking about candy and she's always talking about toys. Um, oh. Okay, now let's go down. So her legs, her <laughs> her legs, oh, they, uh, they're up. pretty, they're down. pretty squatty. Uh, the knees uh, bow inward, and um, her shoes are have kind of uh, twirled. It's kind of hard to see how she walks because they're kind of on or in spirally springs. Yeah, it, it's a it's a weird. <laughs> it's a choice. Uh, I, no choice, no choice. I hate to interject here, but you have to be honest with me. Regardless of what the Tony Rabbit would have said, you're interested, aren't you? Oh, yeah, because we're 100%. You really need uh, to find it's, it's, I've been, I, it's, it's been a long, long journey. Long, long time, you know. Oh. I think what we're trying to say is we are on board to help. At least he is, and we're all with him. Okay, well, um, so in the ideal world, we kill her. Um, but no. uh, but oh, I, I don't know if that. you're already attached, I think, I think there are <laughs> definitely options here. Oh, yeah. Because the true, the true purpose that I've called you here is that me and my friends, we've all... We all kind of entered her lair, which is the rotten tree, Griselda's tree. And it was, it, she kind of captured everybody and I was allowed to escape, but I just can't leave my friends in there. So I, I really just want you to rescue my friends and whatever you do with Griselda, I kind of, at this point, don't want to know. Oh, well, look, it's oh. fine. We're open to helping you. And you know, we heard about your friends. You know, I've been, you know, down in the trenches in a bad way, and I'm ready to just get in there, uh -huh. yeah. figure things out, uh -huh. okay. and with the help of my friends. And then, and you, uh, in this beautiful speech that's uh, made by Full, you, uh, I guess, I guess, um, Merv, you, you hear the sound of sobbing. Uh, just a little tear, it's like, Wah. <laughs> oh, that's so <laughs> for sure. Yeah. Where, where do I hear this? Clearly. Um, really yeah. just not, right next to you, beside you, it's Marg. She's, <laughs> she's like, wow, how quickly you turn. I thought I was your one and only. Uh, <laughs> uh, <laughs> oh, I didn't man. know we were this close. Uh, <laughs> yeah. oh, what oh, is it? Is, oh, it, is oh, it the yeah. knees that bend down? No. Oh, it it oh. seems the troll caught feelings real quick. My yeah. Friend. Oh, oh, I did. going to like lightly pat and go, oh, oh near yeah. Margie. It'll be oh, right. Oh, like, oh, okay. Dang. You know, I, I mean. Don't have there's more. other leeches in the bog. That's what they say. All right, well, it sounds like you have work to do. Uh, yeah, I'm gonna go on this quest. I might come back. Feeling really uncomfortable. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You yeah. know, it's, you know. Yeah, at least, you, at least you weren't, you know, like just passed over. Uh, I have been. <laughs> <laughs> well, all right, great conversation, everyone. Better. Can, can I ask our rabbity friend yeah. a question? Yeah. Okay, um, other than childbearing hips, a painted face, and warts. Are there other more pertinent <laughs> okay. and meaningful things about Griselda we should be aware of <laughs> before we yeah. head question. into the tree that is rotten to save question. your friends? That's a, that's a great uh, idea. A that's a great, that was going to be like my that. next question. Yeah. That was going to definitely, definitely go be I'm a, a, I'm, I'm a man of nature with an All innate right. curiosity. So, well, you know. I kind of covered, I kind of covered the most important stuff, so I won't spend as long on this stuff. She, <laughs> she is known for turning people into candy. She loves eating candy, but um, the way she gets it is through uh, children and fey people. And she's been known to say that folk of the material plane actually turn into more candy than the fey creatures. That is true. No, no, that's true. I'm, I'm not very sweet, but a small human child, that might go a long way. That's true. Uh, yeah. yeah. So just to clarify, we're supposed to find a rotten tree. Go inside. Well, I'll take you right to the rotten oh, tree great. because okay. we are running out of time. Yep. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, we're just, we're, I'll talk. describe a little bit of what happens, but we're going right there. Uh, cool, cool, cool. Great. Let's yep. go to. Let's, also, I want to get to this. But tree. wait, sorry, I interrupted you. What 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 else did you think we had? I was going to ask if you know where the nearest rotten tree is because I'd really like to get in there and stop <laughs> yeah. drinking things along the way. I mean, technically, I was kind of I was kind of also kidnapped with the rest of the group, so um, I but I was able to escape uh, very bravely, by the way. Um, but one other thing you should know that is, is of pertinent information is, of course, it's guarded. Um, I, 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 I never actually made my way inside, so but my friends did, and I wound up seeing a lot of, I mean, it was a lot of whirring sounds and clinking um, sounds, uh, some marching and weird giggling voices. Like mechanical whirring sounds? Yeah, like mechanical whirring sounds. So uh, yeah, ideally, ideally we can we can get past there and get to my friends. 
Okay. Yeah, let's, let's, okay. Should we bring Marg along? Just. My, Just I, would like, I would like if we bring Marg along. I think she'd be very useful and helpful. Uh, and I'd also like for her to hug me really tight. <laughs> I would really like to just be there and lay down. Again, I'm right here. You're talking oh, about Mark. me like I'm in a third person. Oh, Mark, you, my you sweet can just Mark, my oh, sweet, special really Mark. Wow, wow. I just want you there Can't by my side. Can't believe you. Goodness. Oh, just, just as long as... Just, uh, oh boy, they all sound the same, don't they? <laughs> <laughs> oh, I just realized that. happening. Uh, they all, yeah, as long as you leave through my portal, that would be awesome. Here's a hug for you. I think Claude's you. whole plan is to oh, enter your portal. Mark. <laughs> Quite honestly. <laughs> okay. Uh, so she gives you she gives you a nice, really a nice Faye wild hug, like a really um, yeah, a really nice. Hug. Yeah, I don't yeah. know what you're going after, but her her titties are still behind her back. So. I was really hoping I'd get like a uh, like a, a soft a yeah a soft pillowy yeah a soft hug. pillowy. All right. Well, she senses that and sends so one maybe back she over them to back over. Oh, yeah. oh, that's oh, that's nice. Nice. Wow, yeah, what a nice moment yeah. nice as a group. Yeah. Oh, so, Mark, I'll miss you. <laughs> so this is just the loveliest Feywild journey you've ever what taken. It's not It's on. not long before you're just falling in love with this place. As you make your way to Griselda's rotten tree, you notice uh, that every every single thing in the Fey Wild is on board with you being here. So from the sky, uh, there is there are gumdrops and little peppermints that are falling from the sky and then burst into uh, almost nothing glitter as they fall down. So no, they they don't touch you. They don't touch the ground. Um, well, like gumdrops and other candy. Exactly. So they're little children. Uh. I mean, that what? Z head? <laughs> well, if Griselda's turning children into candy and candy's dropping from the heavens, then she's probably just hurling children off of a big tree. Okay, okay. Uh, roll an, you and, and, and um, Pendamir, go ahead and roll an insight check. We're just going to insight the, the ward here. I, I can't, no. No, I'm not I've been letting the rain tell you what I splash into my tongue and on my oh, mouth. Oh, that's a... 17. 17, you can add your insight bonus Ooh, as well. And that's a three, that's a 20. 20, that's a Woo! dirty 20. Oh, I am and so insightful. You're so A little better than my room. In this Fey <laughs> Wild. That in fact you say that so these are children and um, and and a, a few I'm of them. Bring down the party a lot. Just don't so eat yeah. them. Oh, <laughs> but but actually, yeah. Bummer city. The candy starts falling on your head and uh, sprinkles sprinkle explosions um, as you realize you got that child on your head it Children absolutely <laughs> that is absolutely true um, there in the Feywild wild is dark and mysterious even though sometimes it looks very whimsical and you get the sense that this woman is absolute this hag is absolutely evil and has turned a bunch of children into literally the weather well let oh. me wow. unpack my sack from these delicious candies I was gonna eat on the yeah. <laughs> oh, And I'm starting, thanks, I'm thanks. starting to look a little better now, Team? aren't I? I'm starting to look like a little better now. <laughs> now that I, I'm, not, not, I'm not eating not really children. Upset, okay? uh, look, I, look, I, yeah, I know Walker you, you look great. I think you're great. I'm not weird. I'm a warforged that's been reprogrammed for romance. So everyone I come into contact with, Wow, you're just digging yourself a hole. Well, Literally, I, I can't help you it. Come in it's, it's, it's in my head. You really have legitimate feelings for you. Yeah, I don't. I just always have feelings. I swear you mean so much to me is, and everyone else. This is Man. what we call a player. <laughs> no, I'm not. I'm not I'm, this is just, it's, it, I'm built like this. Yeah, I'm built, built different. Built different, I bet. <laughs> so, uh, so you do wander, you do wander forth, and um, Tip Tap guides you through. He's bounding along, and um, you hear the flowers. Uh, start singing. Everyone, everyone, roll a <gasps> perception check. Uh, so this is a d20, Chain and you get to add <laughs> the skill perception to it. That's On the crack. Uh, 13. Thir 13, caper. Uh, nine. Nine. Six. Uh, Pendamir is just excited to be back in the Fey because I literally have not rolled higher than a three. <laughs> <laughs> I have not rolled higher than a three. Okay. Uh, that's that's 18. what happens with 18, the radio. Okay. 16. 18 and 16. Okay. So, yes, the rest of you are just kind of taking in this new information that perhaps the weather is remnants of children. Um, and instead of, uh, I guess the way you would interpret this is instead of um, 
in the material plane, the way it would rain down from the sky is maybe ash. It actually seems that level of, um, it's, it's almost like snow, but it's joyful candy. So something's happening to the children that's getting recycled and put back into the air as it falls down. But the rest of it, but you two actually are getting almost, this is actually very common in the Feywild, a legend or a prophecy um, hinted at through these dead kids that are falling down. Oh, and and they, they speak it in speak. common, and they say, "To be the children, sorry, to free the children, be the children, to free the children, be the children." And it's almost the sing-songy, uh, very joyful, light-hearted tune that they're singing. But those are those are the lyrics. Are y'all? Yo, oh, I, that. I hear that. What is that? To be the children. What's happening? Free the children. To free the children. Uh, be the children. I don't want to be children. I think I we gotta. To you, do we it. gotta. You, yeah, How do you be did children? You, uh, did you sip from my cup? No, I, I didn't. <laughs> I'm telling. I'm telling you. <laughs> do, do, do we hear? I hear it. Thank you. Hear? Yes. To free the children. Be the children. Where are you hearing these voices? Why are you not hearing yeah. it? What is wrong? I'm sobering up. And what's it's going, what's real rough. I just, you're, to I'm just really children. caught up on dead kids falling from the sky. <laughs> yeah. My rolls have been so low, I still think it's candy. So. <laughs> <laughs> what are you guys talking about? Is anybody going to eat that? <laughs> <laughs> you should probably start licking them off your fingers. Yeah, I don't. <laughs> so oh, you never enough cherry flavor. <laughs> you continue down, and in the distance, uh, we, in the distance, Tip Tap has you crouch behind a, a grumbling stump. Um, and and he the, the stump itself kind of spreads wider to guard you from the sights. But you do see a grizzled tree, as as this looks like Griselda's rotten tree. And inside, you do see tiny, um, about three foot size. Well, I guess they're not tiny. More large toys marching back and forth. Toy so soldiers with uh, like hand cranks on their back. Oh. Mm -hmm. Oh. I'd like to check and see if there's maybe any small animals around nearby. Sure. Can I? What, what yes, would I Yes, and I that? think because of your dream, actually, uh, Sessler, Fluffinator might be able to help her mm. uh, look around because he, uh, right? You, your friends I've are got, like, woodland fluff creatures. Fluff senses. Mm -hmm. Yeah, fluff Perfect. senses. Yeah. That's so like fluffy senses are. Like, so you you know cool. this about him. So you source him out, and the two of you uh, sense. See, what do you do? You sniff. I sniff. Close my eyes. I turn about maybe two or three times. Yeah, which, um, and then I course. just try to see like, course, can I, yeah. can I sense fluff? Yeah. So you, like you, a terrier that's you gonna kind of, yeah, you settle for a nap. Sure. Okay, so you, great. You close yeah, your, yeah, your eyes awesome. and um, almost blindfold yourself, like you're gonna play. Uh, hang the tail on the donkey, I guess. Hang Spin around. Hang it, you can pin it. Yeah. There's a lot of every time. Put the tail around the donkey. He's mad. He's like, that used to be part of and me. Be, and because we're in the Bay Wild, wild of course that helps and it works. So, Mervyn, uh, what do you do to, to look around for these? Uh, woodland creatures. Uh, I think Mervyn is mostly observing with like, yeah, like a look of awe upon his face. Like, Amazing. like this is the master of this, awesome. and he's just trying to replicate exactly what his buddy Fluff is doing. Okay, fantastic. So you're just trying to find some stuff. So uh, let's do investigation with advantage. Okay. First one is 15. Second one is 19. 19. Mm -hmm. um, you, so this uh, this domain being mostly candy and toys, but there are also some, there are, are also some beasts. As far as woodland creatures, it's more pixies, sprites, that t type of thing, but there are a few um, bear, flying bear cubs and perhaps like uh, these bunny rabbits that actually aren't, aren't sentient in the way, or they're not awakened uh, bunnies. So you do kind of sense a, a bear cub, a bunny, and a swallow. Okay. Um, I think Merv is going to call out to the rabbit then. Okay. I'm using speak with small beasts, everyone. Oh, you're speaking, okay, speak with small, wow. s speak with small beasts, okay. So how, what do you say? Oh, hi there. <laughs> I'm, I'm Merv. <laughs> How are you? Oh God! Hi! Big and small talk. Hi! <laughs> I am sorry. Hi! No, it's just been a day. What's up? Oh, 
Gosh, I'm sorry to interrupt if you're having a day. Yeah, I mean, whatever. It's Wajir. It's like, it's just not where you, it's fine. What? What can I help you with? No, oh, yeah. Um, I won't, I won't keep you too long. Uh, you see that there tree over there? Oh, a Griselda's tree? No, I don't see it. Oh, it's just right up there. <laughs> oh, that, wow. That big one. Oh, that's what you wanted to know. <laughs> Did you see? There's like the, the marching things in front of it. Wow, I'm we're going at straight it. to give me information you don't even want to ask. <laughs> <laughs> It's right there. You yeah. Know. No, I know. Okay. <laughs> uh, you, can you not sense sarcasm? <laughs> no, gosh, no. No, I can't. Okay. All right. Well, that's where we are. Yeah. Yes. Um, then to answer your question, yes, I see it. Great. Uh, so, would you happen to know if, like, a group of adventurers were trying to get in there, um, if there's maybe, like, a, a back passage we could be making use of or... Um, my name's Karen. <laughs> oh, hi there. I'm Merv. Yeah, hi. Hi, Merv. Great. Um, okay, so, yeah, just to get this rolling, because I actually have a ton of kids, we're gonna... <laughs> <laughs> Yeah, we're, there's, defi there's definitely a back entrance. It's through the pumpkin patch, but uh -huh. beware of the pumpkins. Um, they're, they're not what, they, what you think they are. So yeah, you could get in that way. Um, what's your ultimate goal? Um, well, how do you feel about little Grizzly over there? Who? The Griselda. Oh, Grizzly, yeah. Grizzly, Griselda. Uh, she doesn't mess with me. She, so I guess, I mean, I get it. She just wants to turn kids into candy. <laughs> I'm like, I get it. Why would you? Why would you want to spend all night and day feeding like a million children and have no thanks for anything? And then the next thing you know, it's spring again, and you're having a litter of twenty. <laughs> why would you want that? So turn them into kids, candy. I don't care. Uh -huh. That's how I feel. Uh -oh. Are we still talking about Griselda? Yeah, totally. Okay. Yeah, totally. Hey, uh, uh, Karen. Well, you can't talk. I don't think you. Oh, do I? Do I, do I not know that? Well, she's speaking. No, she's speaking. Oh, yeah. I yeah. forgot yeah. it was a bunny. Yeah. 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 <laughs> <laughs> sorry, I got. Sorry, I had this image of Victoria's <laughs> Secret and the checkout <laughs> counter and everything. <laughs> sorry. What? You can ask, wait, you could ask you her. You can ask to Merv to. why that rabbit looks so pissed off at her. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. What'd you yeah. do? To Merv, are, are, are we learning anything from yeah. this oh. Henri rabbit? Oh yeah. So this is Karen. Say hi, Karen. Uh, no. She, okay, well then. Uh, she's just a real delight. Um, Karen told me that there's a back way through. Um, Wait, are we done? Uh, no, I... Oh, God. Uh, yeah, sorry. No, keep going, you know, I guess. I mean, yeah, go ahead. Uh, Karen's just a real treat so far. <laughs> there's a back passage around the tree that we need to get to, and Karen said, go through the pumpkin patch, but beware the pumpkins aren't what they seem. What are they? N not pumpkins, apparently. Do you, um, Karen, sorry to <laughs> yeah. bother. Um, what did you mean exactly when you said that the pumpkins weren't what they seem? Oh, they're like, they're going to attack you. They're, they're, I mean, I don't know if you've heard of the tale of the Headless Horseman, but it's like, it's like all of them are heads of horsemen that are headless. Okay, all right. Um, hey, uh, Badger, you're doing a lot of chittering noises, so I don't yeah. know what you're actually saying, but you did, you know, like I, I check in. Up. You I did check in with the bunny. I did check you did. to see if you, she was interested. No, I no, did. I mean just, you know, not just <laughs> pumping the bunny for information. No. You know, you, the bunny's got no, no, your no. lives. You yeah. know, you're talking, you're, you're letting them know. I, yeah, I'm, you know, I'm doing what you taught me to, bud. Oh, okay. <laughs> oh, yes. All right. Um, Have you tried shading the rabbit yet? I, this is so much information <laughs> you know, from you might so get, many Okay, sides. that's fine. Um, did you want to tell me about your day or anything? <laughs> or, you have hobbies? I have hobbies. Yeah, I did want to tell you about my day. So, thanks. I take a big war force thumb and just rub it over the bunny's head. Okay, so she immediately cries and is like, <laughs> I was I was just trying to get berries and like I knew where the berry bush was and I have all these kids, but then someone else came by and like turned them all into just 
fairy dust, and it's it's like, come on, I know these things. There's a lot I know of goo them. coming come on, from Karen. this rabbit's come eyes. Come on, Karen. Oh, why would you I think this rabbit might be sick, so I take out my morning star <laughs> and start swinging it around. Because the moment you no. need to put the it bunny down, rabbit. Put I don't know. Yeah, you see that it's leaking from its eyes, and it was very mad at you. It sounded like it was hissing. Are you attacking the bunny? Take the. I might be. I might. I might be attacking this bunny. Yes, you started, it was hissing at you. It started leaking from the eyes, and I feel like I don't have the option of just like just kind of standing back and filming all this. Do I? I, I think yeah. uh, uh, in the face. So, uh, what did I give you? A toenail? No, you don't. <laughs> <laughs> I definitely have a morning star, and I'm concerned that that rabbit, that rabbit, rabbit might be rabbit. I don't know. I, 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 I think mean, yeah. Okay. Yeah. I'm yeah. Concerned you, now. You, oh. Great. I love that. Yes, because I think Caper just makes decisions and. and and, and I guess these emotions are, are kind of transcend what he's used to. So go yeah. ahead, um, roll. How would, how would you like? You said Morning Star. So yeah, roll, I have the Morning Star. I'm ro whipping it around. Attack. You can hear the <laughs> wind whooshing we by. Yeah, cool. but well, I don't. I'm focused on the bunny. I'm like, yeah, it's okay. Go on. Baby. Okay, you so roll to attack agitate. with your Morning Star. That'll yeah. be a, a D20, and it looks like it's a plus five to hit. So add a five to Never that. Never forgive you. I know you are. What is so going sorry. on? <laughs> what is going on? Uh, I had hoped we'd be friends. I could miss, right? Do you <laughs> yeah, this was full. totally a character oh, I had a, stats that's for. A, that's a nine. Oh, a nine. Yeah, and then what do I what do I add to that? You now? add a five. I had I add a five. Yeah. Yeah, you add plus five. Your yeah. morning star. Uh, it's uh, plus I five. I can't to imagine hit. the AC of a tiny, adorable, <laughs> adorable emotional mother. Yeah. Or by or the way, or a very or sick, a very, very sick. aggressive, very dangerous woodland predator. Who's, who's been fantasizing about infanticide? That's yeah. A, that's fourteen. I, I, my fourteen. Are a fourteen to hit. Um, it, uh, you hit, um, you, so you hit, and what happens is, um, as you just kind of casually swing it, and in a in a very drunken stupor, you just decide, why am I just casually swinging it when I could pummel the, sh pummel, <laughs> pummel the rabbit to death, um, PG-13. Uh, I got this, guys, don't worry! <laughs> yes, and so you do, you <laughs> Good choice. Good choice. I love the it. The best part table. is that only one person was part of the conversation, so no, no and then Caper just starts swinging away. <laughs> he comes in now. I so mean, he has reasons. Can, can you pour some bog water on this? It's got yeah. some Karen has rabbit started. brains. And... Karen, oh. Karen was starting to smack herself silly about the location of that berry. Oh, why can I remember it? Of course. Why did I go back to the same bush? Of course, the pixies would have chipped. <laughs> And and she uh, she's obliterated. Look, oh. the Feywild is mysterious and magical oh. and whimsical, and and things aren't what they seem. And yet you have a, a pulpy corpse of a regular of just a regular old rabbit. Uh, that, Everybody's okay. You're welcome. Yeah, bashed in the head, uh, dripping with pulp. Uh, little innards that you have no idea what the names of them are are just uh, coming uh, coming forth from her gut. How much more can I do? Who wants some body horror? Uh, <laughs> uh, uh, I, um, Claude, Claude goes up to Mal to be like, Hey, are you okay? Yeah, had so much life uh, left. You, you did such a good job, but now the body is. I mean, it's dead. Do you want, are you hungry? Just, just, uh, I'm just asking, because it's, it, well, it, it could be done out loud. We could yeah. eat food. Do you like Ear foods? to tail, you gotta, so you gotta make, use it. We you could gotta. make a very good I meal. I hear fricassee. Very good meal. Do I have a drink on me? I can just drink to get through this conversation. <laughs> so you probably have you probably have some mead. Um, I drink it immediately. Yeah, you drink mead. You're, you're getting a little toasty. Okay, good. I can uh, deal with this now. So, yes, there's a water skin. We'll assume there is wine inside it. Yes. I assume. Yes. I absolutely. Uh, yes. I, I, yes. Pendemir definitely has some has some alcohol. It's the only way I'm going to be able to deal with this <laughs> atrocity. All right. So, pumpkin patch. Uh, and and the little herring gone. Okay, so this is what uh, this strikes you all as odd. Like you're all kind of going through some stuff right now. Which part? Um, <laughs> <laughs> uh, but your little so herring gone friend tip tap and and still holding a a a, a glove bulb. Um, he he goes. I've seen worse, but you kind of see you you get the sense that he's also um, he's just not as vibrant as he was. And oh, he, I wonder why. <laughs> <laughs> I thought the rabbit was sick. He had good and 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 he he um, marches forward. He just comes up and says, "So, uh, now that 
that's taken care of. It seems like you handled all the business you needed to handle. Uh, where are we? You, you don't want to go in through the front door? No. <laughs> we found a different way. You good? Because your energy is different. Oh, I'm good. No, you don't seem good. Yeah, I'm good. I'm gonna do a vibe, I'm vibe check. I'm gonna do a vibe. Yeah, okay, that's an do a vibe. Okay, check. Vibe. Roll for vibe check. Roll for vibe check. Uh, <laughs> technically, technically, that's an insight check. Uh, that is a 19. Let's see. Um, Ooh, mm, okay. Yes. Uh, plus uh, minus one, 18. It's still great. Um, yeah. So you're absolutely right. This this rabbit is not good, but it actually has nothing to do with a, a woodland creature being killed. Uh, this is in in this Feywild Wild world. Of course, um, there's a there's a food chain, and sometimes woodland creatures get killed. He didn't. He actually didn't hear the conversation, um, but he his mind was on something else. Uh, oh, imagine imagine the cartoons like Spiral Eyes. Uh, he's he's really locked in on this tree, uh, and as much as he keeps trying to pull focus away from the tree to talk to you guys, he he wants to save his friends. Um, he keeps getting pulled back, uh, almost in a trance towards this tree. I pick him up and say. Like, you look like you under some kind of spell. Nope. And I open my middle compartment and I'm just gonna try and stuff him in there. It's like, you know, I'm not gonna let you get caught. I'm not gonna let you get caught. I not on my watch. I see you've made another okay. friend. Very good. Did yeah. anyone else not know that we can force another friend. <laughs> That's what I think. I you saw did. a call friendship right there. So um, you stuff you stuff the little herring gun inside of your internal cavity that you've opened up and, and your closet cabinet. Yeah. Uh, yeah. You you totally can. This is a uh, non-combatant. So uh, <laughs> why roll for anything? Yeah. Right. Um, yeah you you can uh, totally fit him in there. And uh, while he's in there, uh, you might hear an echoing of what he's murmuring. Okay. Um, but he yeah, I guess he's. Uh, He's stuffed in the cabinet. If anyone wants to talk to him, I guess they'll have to knock. So I've, I've just, I've done this before. You go into a dungeon with someone in the trance, and then you're in the dungeon, and then all of a sudden it's like, oh, 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 we're safe. And they're like, oops, I accidentally am part of a trap, and now you're going down the trap. My turn. <laughs> Do me next. Oh, I'm uncomfortable. Uh, uh, no. No, it's okay. Uh, I feel I'm just. I was just afraid of getting trapped in the dungeon. It yeah. wasn't like a. Freak. All right, nope, lot of glare. All right, yeah, next yeah, time, yeah, next yeah, time. Yeah, 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 yeah. Next time. Next yeah, time. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It wasn't a freaky thing this time. It was just <laughs> just <laughs> chew on my inside. <laughs> 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 uh. Okay, so um, you all journey forth through the other to the other side of the tree, and. You, you. I imagine you keep a wide distance, just in case. Everyone, roll a stealth check. Okay. Yeah, I think that's. Is that a twenty as well? A uh, d twenty, yes. And and stealth is a skill in the middle of your page. Thank you. Ooh. Uh, yeah. This, uh, this one's better. Uh, Eighteen. Ooh. Eighteen. Nice. That's, Ooh, that's five a eight. plus one. That's six. A six. Okay. 15. We traded. Hey 15. guys. Eighteen. Stop <laughs> hopping. We should avoid them. <laughs> Nobody be too loud. Oh, that's that so is clang, 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 clang. Oh. An it was eight, a, a six. Oh, okay. okay. Nega. Fourteen. Fourteen. I got eight. Eight. Oh my gosh, that's pretty down the middle. So three, three successes and three failures. Um. Were any? I, I or made you roll that stealth check, but I imagined all of you were trying to sneak. Were there? Were there anything that you were doing to make sure that you were undetectable? Oh well. Um, anything you're trying? <laughs> this I was just walking very slowly. <laughs> No, oh, screw it. Okay, so three of you are um, are very successful at sneaking around, but uh, who are the the eight and lower? Okay, all, uh, okay. So we've got Claude and and Fluffinator and Full. I think all three of you were very concerned. You're you're, you're kind of checking in on the Herringon and uh, I'm sneaking for two. Yeah, you're sneaking for two. That's the thing. So you're uh, so um, I guess at this point he's. He's a little, he was trying to get situated and he was rattling in his cage, for lack of a better term. And you two were like, yeah, everything okay in there as you're sneaking, um, checking in on him. Uh, and then, as, so as you round the corner to the pumpkin patch, there's just no, there's just no way that you're going to be able to sneak up. The pumpkin heads themselves uh, kind of shift. Uh, it seems to be like on their own. They start uh, floating. Um, it's a patch, so it's about uh, magical number 13 of them. As they kind of float and you see um, eyes 
just magically form and a mouth magically split from the pumpkin and uh, they are they've got like claw they've got claws uh, sorry sharp teeth that look like they could be claws or maws that could trap you and they just float up and it looks like they almost form they almost look like uh, chandeliers mm. with the vines coming forth from them they're not totally awakened yet but uh, they do sense your presence you can tell total noob, noob question if I may I can apparently detect good and evil oh yes would that be a benefit if I did something like that absolutely well, I mean, yes they, they do they do kind of look bad I mean I'm seeing glowing think, pumpkins okay, around okay, yeah yeah, yeah. Okay. Well, I know I want to hit it with the morning star by its exterior yeah. oh, well, but, well, but I, mean, I would love they're to just calm that well, way okay. that's amazing okay. <laughs> I'd like to detect the presence of evil because okay. I'm not feeling these pumpkins <laughs> I love it. Okay. The morning star has tasted blood once. It thirsts again. It thirsts again. I'm gonna smash the pumpkins. <laughs> I'm so sorry. Don't make Murph cry again. I don't. No, okay. if you cry, I might think that you're possessed or that you're sick. You know this. I don't yeah, I understand. Mean, Tears, I might drink them away. Like, it's, it's Murph, not the guy who's shoving her NPCs. That's right. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. yeah, yeah. Okay. I think you're human trafficking. I don't know. Yeah. Or rabbit trafficking. I don't know. It's rabbit trafficking. Yeah, it's rabbit yeah, yeah. trafficking. Um, you, you just know, you just cast this on yourself, and then for 10 minutes, you know the presence of certain creatures. Um, and and uh, it's basically going to be Fae and Fiend that matter, and it, uh, the range is 30 feet from you. So I will say the. Friends, get behind me. You okay. sense. So you actually. He registers. So in a like in a video, it's, like, me. it's almost like in a video game when you go to like the, the sub view. Uh, everything is shadow except for he glows pink, um, and and you get the Great sense color. that he's he's a good he's good mm -hmm. he's Fey, um, but the the you also get a very well I guess Fey doesn't necessarily mean good but he is Fey. You also get a glimmer of other Fey inside inside the tree. Uh, it's 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 a lot dimmer and it isn't pink it's green, um, but the these uh, this cabbage uh, sorry pumpkin patch these pumpkins are they're fiendish and they do seem quite evil. Listen, I know I have a bit of a reputation amongst the party of being quick with the morning star. Oh, I get no, it, I, I get it, but so. I'm telling you. I'm sensing something from these pumpkins and we should probably deal with it. Okay, so just to run a quick, you know, uh, rewind. Sure. So sure. we did a vibe check yeah. on the pumpkins to decide whether to smash it. No vibe check needed on rabbits. We just... <laughs> <laughs> we just Listen, these pumpkins aren't leaking. Immediately. They're not hissing at anybody. Well, they do They're have eyes and in the air and they're right. they have they have they eyes and mouths. Oh my like God, I'm gonna see if that's evil. <laughs> well, maybe they're good conversationalists. You don't know what they do but with their mouths. emotional <laughs> rabbit. I'm telling you, we either need to spend with this or attack them. Let's go. Okay, Caper's okay. gauge of good and evil is totally it's out not, of It's not, not, it's so, very bad. Tiny yeah. crying rabbit. Take them Basically, out. Say, take them out. Yeah. <laughs> floating pumpkins. Well, they might be nice. Well, well, we well, let's not jump to conclusions here. Well, okay. So you 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 actually know that these are of the Fey Wild. That they actually don't. It doesn't seem like they belong there. You know, you all know that the Underdark and the Fey Wild are one and the same, and and uh, there are always travelers in between them trying to change the worlds of the other one because they are direct mirrors of each other. Um, as far as good and evil, so uh, these these actually are seem to be recruited from the Underdark. Um, I'm going nice. to say if if we're ready, I think it's time for a battle, which means we need to roll initiative. Yeah. So that's a d20, and you add your initiative bonus, which is at the top of your page. Right. Ooh. It's a good thing I changed dice. Oh <laughs> yeah. man. Oh uh, man. Oh boy. Okay. Okay, so we'll go down. Uh, what did anyone get a 15 or higher? Yes, Lupo. 19. 19. Okay, oh, so Pendemir. Okay, yeah. Pendemir. We'll do it my way. Pendemir. Okay, and who? Uh, any? Uh, what, who else? 16. 16 full. Um, I got an 18, so that's a monster card. Uh, blank. And then anyone get a 10 or higher? 13. Oh, I got 13 too. Ooh. <laughs> who has the higher <laughs> deck score? Uh, Caper mine's or plus Claude. two? Plus, or no, yeah. I have or, plus two. Oh, it says 15 and then plus two. So That's 17? right, 15 is plus two. So okay. yeah, yeah, I just need to know if it's plus uh, the plus number. Oh, plus two as well. Y'all, all right. Look at that. We're gonna. It'd be the higher base stat then. 
Uh, yeah, do you have do you have a 15 or a 16? Or sorry, 14? I have 14. 14! Hey, okay. all right, a deciding factor. We love it. We love to see it. Okay. And Mervin and Fluff, what'd y'all get? Uh, I'm at a five. <laughs> yeah, oh, Mervin. Mer. Oh, Mer. Mer. And Fluff? I rolled a four. <laughs> <laughs> you okay, two are fantastic. still broken about, about the tiny rabbit. That's fantastic. Yeah. All right, everybody. I'm just like, whoa. Just like, okay, yeah, 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 you yeah. left me hanging. So you see, yeah. <laughs> you see the pumpkins, uh, yeah, float up and and stretch out, stretch out their vines. But Pendemir, you uh, you saw it first, and you know that you know in your heart of hearts that they're evil. You get to attack first. Go, Pandy. Uh, before I do so. Um, I just want to let you know that I think you look absolutely fantastic today. You keep up the good work. Now I'm going to bardic, uh, use bardic inspiration on him Amazing. before I oh. make my move. Yes, that's a bonus action, so go right ahead. Uh, I, I love the speech as well. If you can use a, a plus six now, right? It, yeah, he gets to roll an extra 1d6, 1D6. on an action of his choice okay. before the result, but after he rolls the dice. Okay, okay, love it. Okay. Um, and then how far are we from the pumpkins? Um, if you were trying to sneak, I'll say, uh, I'll, I'll give, uh, yeah, 30 feet. You can make a okay, movement so I sh- to, I, to run I mean, I'm not going to get up close. That's not my jam. Okay. I am going to pull out a short bow and take a shot from a distance. Though. Okay, Ooh. awesome. Let's light it up. Exactly. All right, so wings. you're going, uh, there were 13 of them. Were there, uh, was there anyone oh, that you were, were targeting specifically? Um, whichever one is the closest. Yeah, fantastic. Um, we'll call that number one. Uh, 16. A 16 hits. A 16 hits. And six piercing. And you're shooting uh, six piercing damage. So you're shooting, uh, for those of you who haven't played D&D before, don't worry, I'll walk you through this. Um, but you're shooting a crossbow bolt. Uh, what are you targeting? I a short bow. A, a show, oh, um, and sorry, I'm basically show trying to, if if I know anything about these pumpkins, like, is there still the stem out the top or is like, I think I'm I'm looking for right between the eyes, right. In yeah, the right before, between the eyes. Okay, perfect. So um, that shot with oh, with six piercing is going to hit. Uh, you you wait for. I guess you heard that he said that these guys are evil. Let's kill them. You took no. You got your little goat feet in an athletic stance. You pulled as one does. With as goat one goat does. Feet. I mean, there's not much. You as do. one does. <laughs> yes. You pulled. You pulled back your arrow. Let loose, and the arrow slices the pumpkin right between the eyes, and the pumpkin goes, "Not me!" And and it, it uh, as as the arrow moves forward, uh, it. It, it shines with a shimmery fey wild light and it targets the pumpkin right in the head and it, it kind of explodes um, almost as if it's been hit with a hammer. Um, so it, oh. it, it explodes into kind of glitter and out of sight. Uh, so it, it's still ra- raining down, but it's not as dire. I, I guess it's as dire if you're a pumpkin um, as the kids raining from the sky. Um, so one down. Uh, the, other, the other 12. We'll do these in packs of. We'll do these in packs of four packs of three because there are. 12. Before they move, since yes. I still have my move left, yes. I take a, I step behind him and say, "It was him." <laughs> <laughs> okay, awesome. Uh, so you see, you see one pack immediately come for you. Um, a, a no, six. There's no way I'm doing with all now that. Now I open my container. <laughs> yes. Okay. Does a does a twelve. Does a 12 hit you? I it does think not. It does. Okay. So one, one entire group of them comes towards you and says, no, you can't. And, and they have huge mouths that open like Pac-Man as they just op- uh, yeah, ha- have no jaws and just open forth. And Terrifying. they come at you, ah, you can't have <laughs> us. Um, and their vines are, are slinging all over the place. Um, they're trying to grab onto you. But they're they're really flailing creatures. I mean, they're they're almost uh, meant to be eaten and not. Fi- uh, fighting. I was about to say, but according to, you know, Mr. Homicide Paper, over here, yeah. like they're evil. <laughs> according to him, wow. they yeah. are evil. Yeah, yes. Just because they're just fl- just inept, yes. but evil. Yes, so, just because yeah. <laughs> just because you're flailing doesn't mean that you're good. Flailing, we, we... Well, at fighting, but... <laughs> <laughs> okay, so uh, the second set we're gonna say is gonna attack the Warforged, because some of them believe him. Uh, that is... I'm very persuasive. That is a 14 to hit. Does it... Yeah, it Yeah, 14 is. to hit. These three wrap their vines around you, and you take... Um, you actually take 
Uh, 11, 11 bludgeoning damage as their vines just go boom, 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 boom. And I'm gonna uh, say, I'm gonna say uh, they, they do because that is a lot of damage for a third level character. Um, the Herringon inside of you uh, is not making any more sounds right now. <laughs> oh, oh no! If that's How the case, I'm, is this gonna I'm pretty sure that was oh, my fault. Oh man! I, I think... mean, it's one thing to have a dead skunk in the attic, but like. <laughs> A blind oh, no. beetle rabbit person in your gut. Oh no, you well, don't want that. It's gonna start smelling soon. Yeah, it's going to start Yeah, it's not looking good for no, this party. Good. Attacking a pumpkin patch is quite a choice. I'm going to roll a quick d4 to determine who's next. One, two, three, four. Um, that, that doesn't have any numbers on it. Uh, okay, <laughs> so. You get to pick. I get to pick. Okay. Uh, uh, actually, uh, Caper, they're coming yes. for you. Um, of course. You so can't die for the rabbit. Of course. These flailing guys are coming for you. These talking pumpkins, they rolled a three, but we add something to it, but I still don't think that's going to hit. Uh, so does a, a nine hit you? And I look at my armor class? Yes. You look at your armor class, 19. yes. 19. Okay, He's not, the by, tank. not <laughs> by a long That's shot. Right. Yes. You're the tank. You're the right? tank. Yeah. Fantastic. So the yeah, the pumpkins um <laughs> the pumpkins uh wrap around <laughs> you and, and they try, but you Jeez. are you are chose the wrong person. <laughs> you are so drunk that you <laughs> like they expect you to be in one place and you're like, oh no. <laughs> I'm not and so you're you're like you're tr you're tricking them as to where you're gonna be, and they're they're used to still targets, yeah. uh, and that's just not. I'm you. seeing the Matrix, but the font <laughs> is Wingdings. <laughs> Sweet, <Exactly>. dodging it. <laughs> Fantastic. <laughs> yes, and then for the the final attack of these groups of three, um, that'll be actually it'll be the ses the ses uh, sorry the Fluffinator. I was about to say uh -oh. the Sassinator. Oh, that's a that's a yeah that's a. <laughs> I don't even know what. <laughs> <laughs> I think a dirty 20 it's a will hit. Play. A dirty 20? A dirty 20. So you're going to look at your armor class. I just have to 16. meet or beat it. Yeah. 16. So that will. Look what's hit. dirty about the 20. Uh, so, oh, there's a natural 20, which means I rolled it on the die. So oh. that's natural because it's um, like analog and physical. I, I range and then table dirty table. means yeah, like, table yeah, we fudged it a little because yeah. I added yeah. some numbers to get there. A lot of companies, they process their 20s. You yeah. don't realize. Oh, yeah. 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 You see it in the news all Wait. the time. But no, here, we farm to table 20s. It's, yeah. 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 You heard it here for, you heard it here for. We cut up with abacus. What's going on? I just got like, you heard it here first, folks. The DM has a crank in her back as well. Maybe she's been. Let's get in the toy. Yes. <laughs> okay. Let's bludgeon her. Let's find out. <laughs> Let's casually bludgeon her. Um, uh, Actual bludgeon. But so that was a dirty twenty that totally hits. Again, you're going to take 11, oh. 11 bludgeoning da damage. Is that uh, like? Is, is bludgeoning damage like a modified damage, or am I just just knocking eleven off my head? Uh, at this point, yeah, it, it, uh, normally damage does make a difference, but for you at this level, a, as your character, you take all of the damage. Sometimes you can negate it if you're resistant. Uh, you are not resistant uh, to bludgeoning damage, so you take the full eleven. You have twenty-five hit points, which brings you down to uh, fourteen. Yeah. Hit points. You're hurting. Um, but yes, the uh, the pumpkin patch vines uh, swing forth. Oh, we're so mad. We're so mad. Um, and they <laughs> what? what are you mad about? And I'm like, I'm, I'm looking at Caper going, it's evil. It's I evil. Told you. Ah, 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 I told you. Uh, and they they wrap around you. Um, uh, let's see. Both you and Pendamir, sorry, because you were both hit. You are you. Uh, let's see if you're grappled. Wait, you so, mean you mean I was not hit. Oh, sorry, the one. Yeah, yeah, right. Blaming yeah. it on other people. Yeah, <laughs> actually, wasn't me. You are <laughs> grappled, which means you can't move. the The next round, you're in order to move, you're gonna need to try to escape, and we can do that when it's your turn. But you you can't physically move right now. Okay. These vines are wrapped around you, and um, you get the feeling that uh, their Pac-Man mouths are gonna chomp on you next turn. That's what that that seems to be the ultimate goal is for them to bite down real hard. Okay. Cool. Uh, so that's their turn. Full Gandor. <laughs> All right. So it, am I grappled or no? Yeah, you're grappled. Yeah. Okay. Well, then I'm going to use uh, Step of the Wind, uh, which I spend one key point to take the disengage or dash action as a bonus action on my turn. 
Perfect. And I'm, yeah, and so like, yeah, like definitely move. And now my eyes turn from acute blue to red because I'm in battle mode. And my, my, the, the collar on my black gi is flared up and I walk forward. I I'm gonna say, I'm gonna say just real quick, disengage uh, just negates an opportunity attack. Oh, never mind. Yeah. I, <laughs> the collar yeah. returns um, back I, I, I'm so sorry, I was, I was right there with you. Yeah, yeah, I was right there with you. No. I made a mistake. And honestly, I'm, yeah, I'm that checking it. On any other stream, I'd be like, cool. Let's yeah, no, play. I'm <laughs> going to, insane. no, I wrap you back up. And okay. so now I'm going to roll. Uh, roll to escape. So you can do a uh, athletics or a, oh. Cake. Okay, I will do uh, athletics. Okay. Or acrobatics. Uh, well, that, that it was a bounce. Uh, that's gonna be. Uh, <laughs> that's five plus. Uh, I mean, that's that's seven plus five. Uh, seven. That's seven. seven. Uh, yeah, that's not gonna cut it. Um, yeah, you you're so grappled and and um, they kind of have snuck in their vines inside your cavity too. So like you getting out of it, it's just gonna take this extra bulk of strength to to let forth. You're ah. stuck. You're stuck in there. Uh, so that's your turn, actually. Um, uh, yeah, you're just right. stuck. Ooh, tight, tight, uh, tight. And they go, they go, don't worry, guys, we got him. Um, uh, Claude, you're up Ooh. next. What would you like to do? Okay. So I was, I was going to t uh, try to get into your cavity. I was going to be like, please, help me. let me in, let me in. Uh, and then you got captured. It, yeah. it could happen. And now you're basically And now I'm like, oh, no, oh, no, no. What do I do? Um, I'm trying to find. I'm trying to hide. I don't want to be in this fight, but <laughs> I feel bad. I feel bad about you. You are yeah. wrapped in. You, you are wrapped in everything. You're yeah. tangled. So <laughs> I let a big sigh. Oh, okay. <laughs> okay. Sigh. Oh, yes, yes, a little sigh. I put, I put my mar marble lights what? back in my pocket. What, ma'am? <laughs> Why? I put it. I put my my the, the Marlboro light. <laughs> you know, do you know in Dungeons and Dragons? You know. Um, okay. And uh, I take my. Okay, I'm gonna take my dagger, and I'm going to try to cut him loose. Oh, that's all. <laughs> yes. Okay. I will be the hero. Hero Fantastic. of the story. Yes, the the Marlboro <sighs> lights have to go into your back pocket in order for you to get your dagger out to yes. attack. Can Claude yes. do that as a free action? Is that a... Oh, uh, the Marlboro lights, yeah. Uh, you to put them away, right? Yes. I, I don't want a rules check, but it's, you know, uh, it's to I, make sure. Well, yes, well, it's just, it's it was just to on. make sure. I'm just, no, yeah, you're yeah, interacting. It's, it's also to have a claw have an attack beret or any other, <laughs> like, regionally specific Region. moments of death. Yeah, Claude, I mean, uh, Claude does have that, that tiny little sheet music thing, and uh, all of you do have your magic items as well, if you'll remember. Ooh, uh, but but yes, cool, your uh, your Marlboro <laughs> lights, now, 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 uh, now, yeah, your cigarettes are um, going in your back pocket for free. Just, so, just, yeah, just a uh, quick little... Uh, you get on your dagger, sure. and, and your, your idea is that you'd like to um, cut your friend loose. So mm -hmm. I'm gonna say go ahead and make a uh, make an attack roll with a dagger. Okay. Uh, sorry, okay, that's so the, uh, sorry, that 20. Roll, go ahead and roll a d20, d20. And you're gonna add a two hit on there. Seven, that's a, a nine. A, a, a nine plus four, right? Oh no, wait, it's seven, so plus four? Seven plus four with a dagger. Oh, oh that's um, 11. 11, cool, math. Okay, cool. An 11 is, 11 is not yeah. going to hit. Yeah, I'm fine. An 11, yeah, an 11 is not quite going to hit. Um, so you you run forth and uh, you're going to stab with your dagger and you get the sense that the vines are just really thick. So you want to stab them right there, but you're going to be there for a while sawing on them. Not okay. to mention that as the vines and the pumpkins are uh, on him, they're making him, they're continuing his spin and he's just kind of a, a, a whirling He's whirling away, mm. so it's just making him a little harder, that's harder that's... to touch. Could I, could I do a bonus action? Is yeah. that how it works? Sure. Uh, okay. Um, and I think a bonus action I have is 
Bard we? Uh, Bardic Inspiration. Bardic Yes, inspiration. another Bardic Inspiration. Yes, who would you? Oh, actually, Ify, yeah, you had Bardic yeah, yeah, we, we, we just, just had a moment. Don't okay. worry. Yeah, okay, we went cool. through the whole thing over here. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Right. he was inspired, and then he was let down by perhaps the, the passage of, uh, of Tip Tap. So, uh, <laughs> yes. Okay, so, yes, you can Bardic Inspire. Ah. You choose a player and uh, tell them how you'd like to inspire them. Okay. Uh, would that help? Would that help you? It would help everyone. Oh, anyone. Help right everyone? now, I have killer pumpkins that are giving me like some kind of not warm hug. Okay. Wow. Okay. Yes. Yes. Uh, and, and, this. and, and you're all like, like, it's an you know, attack salad. Coughing and right. not being able yeah. to stab right. me right now. Right. With okay. Okay. Uh, <laughs> okay. As as a uh, inspiration, uh, you guys are doing great. <laughs> <laughs> Keep up the good work. <laughs> Pick a god and pray. <laughs> well, wait. <laughs> okay, I just got it. Uh, uh, and then I will do. I would do the bardic inspiration. You'll do the bardic inspiration, and you're targeting specifically Fluffinator. Yeah. Okay. So Fluffinator, on your next roll as a bon uh, on your next roll, you can add a. You can roll a d6, which is uh, what a classic die looks like, yep. um, and you can add that to an ability check, an attack roll, or a saving throw, and that'll be really good for your grapple. Uh, okay. Yeah, that'll be good for your grapple. Okay, so that was Claude. Um, uh, Fluffinator's very thankful for you. Uh, and Caper, you're up next. Caper is still a little buzz from the magical trinket thing, I'm not gonna lie. Yeah. So I might be thinking out loud for a second and looking to everybody to you know, give me an idea of what uh, <laughs> is working or not. Because okay. listen, I could lay these hands. I got two, I could maybe bring a tip tap back or uh, give some extra HP around, I could do that. Save tip tap. I can turn the unholy, which, uh, you know, these, I don't know if these pumpkins are unholy, but they seem pretty bad, as all I'm saying. I yes. That. Oh. Uh, Your of course, checks haven't been wrong yet. I got a morning star. I can yeah, flail yeah. that thing around and hit a couple of little gourds. <laughs> yeah, 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 we yeah, like yeah, that. Yeah, yeah, we yeah, all yeah. like so that. Everybody really loves that. Yeah, yeah. So are you Are you taking a poll? I'm in the just middle talking of, out loud because I'm a little, my inner monologue has become outer because of the sweet berry juice. How much HP does Fluffinator have left right now? 14? Yes. What are you at? I am at. <laughs> wait, wait for it. Wait Your for it. Load. Hold All right, on. hold on. Let me just. Yeah, wait. there. There oh, we go. Yeah. All right. Uh, I am at. Hold on. Uh, <laughs> That's cheap 16, now. You're 16. Your, okay. <laughs> yeah, it could be anything. <laughs> It, it, I think it's up to your your palate and senses. I mean, do you think that it's time to uh, save a party member or enact more ruthless yeah, violence? You can probably get tip tap later. Yes, yes. Uh, <laughs> we're not so, even worried about tip tap. I mean, I tip tap, do it. Tip tap, tip -tap, tip -tap proper berry. What? <laughs> no. Help. <laughs> I can dig a hole with my morning star. I'll just slam the ground a few yeah. times. This one was rabid too. So um, you you know though that uh, yeah you got a, you got a sense of fiend from this from this oh, I keep man. saying cabbage patch but this yeah. pumpkin patch. So you know that um, fiends are definitely targeted if you're considering an unholy, uh, considering Turning a creature unholy. an unholy. Yeah. yeah, I'm gonna do that then. That's something I'm gonna do okay. is just, so, especially the ones that are attacking my friends. Awesome, I we haven't gotten to this yet, but paladins get their magic from deities. Uh, because we're in the Feywild, sure. um, pick anything and you can pray to it. Who's and, your favorite yes, god? Who, or, who's your or favorite thing god? thing to worship? Exactly. Do you like spaghetti a lot? <laughs> no, it's, it's mead, it's honey mead. It's honey mead. Yeah. Then, so then I, there you go. I want a prayer, just a quick prayer to honey mead. Um, <laughs> To ask Not for the god of honeybee. No, honeybee honey honey itself. <laughs> yeah, right. Sweet golden nectar, I have relied upon you in the past, but right now, I'm gonna need you to get my tum tum. <laughs> Make some magic happen. <laughs> Save my friends from the leafy greens. <laughs> Amen or whatnot. Cool, awesome. <laughs> yes, and you feel, wow. you feel, yeah, that Moving. was amazing. You feel the normal warmth and glow that you always mm. feel when you take take a sip on a hot summer's day. That's my sweet babies. Yes, it's it's so refreshing, <laughs> and the honey mead that uh, the honey mead of the past and the honey mead of the future all come together to the honey mead of the present, and they they you also the flutters. Yeah, they, they flutter around <laughs> in your in your tum tum. And you 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 feel the, the magic coursing through you um, as uh, you yeah you shine mm -hmm. your hands forth and you wiggle them a little mm -hmm. yeah because mm -hmm. why not oh and, that's the mean doing the walking and, yeah <laughs> and, and you're still stumbling a little but uh, 
every single every single creature who is a fiend or undead in your area is is just very conscious that you're there and they they kind of perk their heads up you see the pumpkins go I'm so evil and they go what <laughs> and they turn their heads right towards where you are um, and let's see they have to make a saving throw told you they were evil um, <laughs> yeah. It's a They're wisdom saving throw, so that'll be on your spell sheet. Uh, your saving throw. Oh, no. Do do do. Not a very spell attack. Save DC. It's actually it's fairly low. Yeah. Uh, <laughs> yeah, it is. Yeah, it is. So ideally, ideally a, a nine. Ideally, they roll under a nine. So let's see. They actually don't have that much wisdom. So let's okay. see. Uh, we'll do them again in group. We have four groups. Yeah. Uh, good. A two, and we're adding zero. So that's good. So one entire group is turned so far. Uh, a 14. Let's go meet. They're gonna save a 13 and an 11. So really only one group is gone. Uh, we're gonna say it's the, it's the, it, I, I, can't, I can't decide this. So out of the four groups, you are one and you are two and the other one's uh, missed, okay? And we got a two. So the 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 fluffinator, the ones wrapped around fluffinator, oh, you sick. attacked with your dagger, uh, snicker snack, because uh -huh. why not? Yeah. And uh, sure. and as you as you pull away, you kind of get the vibe that maybe you were successful. Like you inspired him of course so much, because uh, yes, you're course. unaware of, of what's happening in the battle, and you are a narcissistic yeah, rock gnome. Uh, so while Kaper is praying <laughs> and imbuing, um, you you I'm watch so as your dagger misses every hit, but still <laughs> the vibe. <laughs> I'm amazing. Yes, those <laughs> gets me go. <laughs> yes, you're just you're just uh, getting dense in his armor. So you uh, you watch as the vine separate from the fluffinator and the and the big mouths are going oh no oh no we can't be here right now we're out of five thirty that was so oak so, <laughs> so they are turned which means uh for their next turn they they just have to basically run as far away from you as they possibly can. Remember when they do that, um, you you both, um, Claude and Fluffinator, will get an attack of opportunity because you were engaged and now, uh, and then they're disengaging. So well, technically they're not disengaging. Ooh, okay, okay um, enough of that. Well done, Kaper, using oh, honey mead thank you. Honey mead. for thank your Thank you service. for the prayers. Now you wow. can kill all the whiny rabbits you want thank in front you. of me. Thank I will not hold it against you. It is, <laughs> it is Merv's turn. Merv's right. turn. Here's where Merv shines. Ooh. Oh, in battle? Uh, he's got to shine somewhere. <laughs> <laughs> uh, I'm going to take out my longbow. And uh, Merv's gonna kind of like steady his arms. He's been shaking ever since Karen was brutally murdered. <laughs> <laughs> and he goes, oh gosh. Uh, and wow. he's gonna try shooting whatever the closest pumpkin is to him. I don't okay. know which one that's gonna be. Uh, yeah, maybe that'll be, okay, great. Yeah, you let me know. Uh, it'll, yeah, it'll be a group of three, so go ahead. Okay, ooh, that wasn't very good, an 11. An 11, yeah, that's not that's not quite gonna hit. So, as, uh, would you, would you, you, you Sorry, you shot an arrow? Yeah. A shaking shaky. arrow? Yeah, you were shaking. And and Merv, um, so Merv, you, you pull back your bow. You didn't have time to, as you were shaking, to get into the uh, really cool athletic stance that our Seder friend was able to do. So um, you, uh, you, were, you said to yourself, your inner monologue was, yeah, today's my day. I'm going to shine. I'll show them all. Um, it's really going to go great. I, I love myself, and I'm worth it. And you you pull out your bow, and, and, and you're like, but you kind of got lost with the, there are three that you're kind of trying to target, and you're trying to make a choice, and that's just not Merv's specialty is choice making. So, uh, yeah, decision making went out the window. You panicked. Um, you went for, you, if you had to say what you were attacking, it would be 301, and you shot. And you didn't know which one you were hitting, and they didn't know either, and they were like, huh? Uh, and the arrow the arrow went forth, turned into um, a little, a little uh, kind of a, a, a fluffy haired thing and just kind of turned into a ball fell on the ground looked at you and goes ha -ha, and farts and runs away um so your arrow's gone now and uh <laughs> it's um oh, yeah that's cool. yeah it, it, it was a cool it was oh, a cool ending for your you arrow but missed. yeah it missed 
Fluffinator, it's your turn. You're no longer grappled. Right, and now I have a, an Bardic, attack of opportunity. Uh, they haven't yet moved, but you can attack them, and also uh, you have Bardic Inspiration. Oh, that's right. Yes. Which is this. So, so I would like to uh, take out my scimitar. You may. Yeah. Yes. And I'm like, Ooh. foreign land, it's from a forereign land, <laughs> so it's like cooler. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Uh, yes. Yeah. Yeah. Scimitar from a foreign sure. land. Sure. Yeah. yeah. Yes, as Everyone a fighter. So you're you're attacking the the vines that were wrapped around you and the pumpkins that were mm -hmm. wrapped around you. Yeah. Fantastic. Okay, let's let's swing to hit. Do you want to okay. use your bardic inspiration? Oh yeah. Okay, so that's you don't, have, a, you don't have to use it until after you roll the dice. Oh yeah, but I'm kind of like I I'm, I'm 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 all worked up. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, no, She's know like, you know, I wish you the best, and I'm like, I'm bringing my yeah, best. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay, I take back what I said. Now's the time to use it. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Absolutely. Okay, so D20 as well. Oh, the D20 you, first. Yeah, we want to get some at the same, same time. time. Sure. Yeah. Okay. All right. Please break the curse. On, above break the curse eight. on that D20. Come on. Ooh. Oh, crack. Oh, we got a crack. You got to reroll that one. You got a crack. Roll on the character sheet if you can. 11? 11. Okay. Plus yeah. 5. Plus 5. 16. Plus your, plus your to hit with Morningstar. Uh, with, with the, the scimitar. Sorry, scimitar. Which is plus 4. Which is plus 4. Oh. So that is 16. It's a journey 20. Yeah. 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 Okay, I would, like you, I would like you to describe, that'll that'll take out the entire uh, trifecta of these pumpkins. So um, it'll be, so it'll be, uh, they were about to run away, mm -hmm. and as they tried to run away, they're like, no, that guy's scary. You think that they're talking about you, and you swing your scimitar, extra inspired, um, and how does it look when you defeat them? Um, it looks, Awesome. <laughs> yeah. 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 Like lots of that, the insides of pumpkins going everywhere. Okay. But somehow the seeds have separated from like that weird kind of fibrous stuff. Yeah. And so they're already ready to be roasted. Oh. Yeah, for a nice wow. snack. Yeah. Okay. Wow. The obsession yeah. with food is real in this group. Oh, um, yeah. You've got, so you've got a special feast. Yeah, sure. Why not? Okay. So the pumpkins uh, the, unwrapped around you. They're about to leave. You kind of spun around with your scimitar and went, ah, exactly. and got all three of them all at once. And as as they uh, both like separated and exploded, like they were being hit with a hammer because technically they, they were hit with a blade. So they, the, the seeds inside them in the Feywild were plucked out and, and juicily dumped into a, in, uh, inside, it was a, like a magnet, like your iron mm -hmm. fingernail was a magnet and they, and they just settle inside and now you have um, like a super hipster dish to serve pumpkin seeds in. So congratulations. Yeah, uh, that's, I'm just have a yeah great, perfect. Okay, awesome. so that's that's cool. You have a you got a nice there are, still, <laughs> <laughs> there are still three there are still three clumps of uh evil pumpkins to Ooh. to smite and kill. It's Pendemir's turn. We're back at the beginning. Uh, still hiding behind my friend here. Yep. No reason yeah, to leave. Yeah. Uh, I'm gonna Great player. I'm gonna bonus action and healing word the uh, the Warforged, uh, <laughs> which I don't. What's the actual? I I I uh, is that a bonus action? It is. Awesome. Okay, so you can um, they one d four plus five or sorry plus three plus your three. spell casting ability modifier. So just roll a d four. Uh, six. Ooh. So he regains as best I can. What is your <sighs> healing word in the Feywild? Wine, absolutely has to be. Keeps okay. me going. Keeps everyone I know going. You okay. know what I'm talking. Absolutely. I, knew I like absolutely. you. <laughs> <laughs> when did you become a drunk? <laughs> you just pray to the god. <laughs> oh, god what? Come on. Like, cool. Don't you remember we all met in group? Right. You're right. <laughs> The first hour of the session was us drinking under a bridge. We kept on yeah. drinking things yeah. that came to us. Bob, yeah. Bob, Bob, well, we may have a problem here. <laughs> we may have a problem. Yeah. <laughs> so you you are able to heal your warforged friend with just with just a word of wine. And for your action, what would you like to do? Um, I'm gonna loose another arrow. Loose another arrow. Okay, and this will be at the the patch that attacked you. Yes. Perfect. I, I, I'm wow. done. I'm done. I, I, wow. I, I literally, you go, you see it. I rolled a two. I rolled, <laughs> I rolled a two. I rolled, rolled a friggin' two. It's not the dice, it's me. I'm cursed. You, yes. Well, I don't <laughs> think that, I can make the assumption that that does not hit. Uh, a two, a two. Let me, no. No, it but doesn't. What if you miss so badly <laughs> yeah. that it becomes a hit? Yeah. 
Okay. Um, but I will say, go ahead and roll a perception check. Oh god. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> rolled another two. Rolled another two. Yo, pack Great. the session up. I'm going home. Great. I'm done. Great. Um, you are so. You're just. Um, <laughs> you as a fancy lad are so obsessed with. I would very much just, just like some wine and go home. That's all I want to do. Yeah, you're See, just... see, this might be the source of the problem. <laughs> Mr. I have yes. no perception and I miss all the time. Oh, man. I don't know. Well, Dull senses. <laughs> since we're at the, we're back at the top of the turn, I want actually want everyone to roll a perception check besides, besides Pendemir. Okay. We already know what happened there. Ooh. Um, 18. 10. Right down. 17. Oh, boy. Okay. Uh, three. Uh, yeah, Murph. how's it feel? <laughs> <laughs> yeah. 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 I don't understand why things aren't working for Pandy. Merv, what did you get? 15. A 15. Okay, so Merv, Caper, and Claude. Um, this entire, so this entire round actually only lasted six seconds as each one of you are able to uh, strike uh, very quickly. But it did cause a commotion and you hear that you are not, you are no longer any version of stealthy, you've basically maybe sounded an alarm because you hear the whirring sound that you heard before of the Tinker soldier toys um, coming towards you from the echo of inside the grizzled tree. Their footsteps are not the only ones you hear though. You also hear a thump of a wooden staff walking with them. She's here. Yep. Keep that in mind. I bet that's the child eating candy lady. As she probably thrives in the these, car line. These pumpkins actually react to that sound as well. Uh, they, since it is their their turn on their action, they they're they're just they're going to. Try the ones around you are 100% going to try to take you down now. Oh, well, they, they can try. Well, they did. It does a 15 hit you? That does hit me. Oh, oh man. Okay. Uh oh. So. What about the I'm sure that he's just resting tip tap? Wait, what? Did I have, did, uh, did Adam Still have like, an opportunity? They died. Yeah, you oh. had an opportunity to attack, but they. Uh, oh, he but that specific one. Okay. Yeah, that, that's that. The, that specific one. They were. Okay, okay. They were decimated by his scimitar. So, these around you do fourteen uh, poison damage mm. to the warforged they as do they regular bite damage in because poison doesn't affect me at all. Let me see. Oh. I think. Or no, I have a. You have a resistance, right? Yeah, resistance. resistance. Yeah, it's resistance. It's resistance. Half, then. Yeah. Funny person. Ooh. <laughs> that was clutch. Let's see. Hopefully that doesn't kill you. I think it's resistance. Yeah, I think you are right. Um, let me see. Wait, wait, wait. Where's the thing that said it? Rare. Oh. Uh, this isn't very exciting, so we're gonna say it's resistant. So seven. you get seven, you take seven hit points of poison damage. As the oh. pumpkins slice oh. in, they open their maws and go, Oh, yummy metal. <laughs> <laughs> and they bite you uh, wherever they're wrapped around you. So all three are biting you. Um, oh. how, how many hit points do you have left? Uh, I am, if they, how much do they hit me for again? Uh, seven, seven points okay. of damage. Um, you're fine, buddy. You're fine. Yeah, yeah. I know it. I'm 15. 15. Oh, you're 15. Okay. Yeah, I so just yeah, healed him. You just healed him. Perfect. Oh, okay. Saved. Uh, the other two, the other two are going to quickly try to attack. A 13 plus six is a 19. Oh. Yeah, go ahead. It looks like I, so I have a saving throw modifier. So I think I do. I have to roll for resistance against it. No. Uh, no, you just... Saving throw mod would be like if... No, yeah, a test if someone this. had to roll against you. Yeah. Okay, so, um... Let's see. Let's see. A nine, okay, so... A, a nine and a 15. That's, Merv, that's does a nine poison. hit you? No. no. Okay. Didn't think God. so. And Claude, does a 15 hit you? Uh, 15 does hit me. 15 yes. does hit you. So your grapple take 11 bludgeoning damage. That's cool, um, that's cool, that's cool, that's cool. You'd all sense that the woman of the forest herself... Griselda of Wardir is coming your way with her soldiers in tow. 
Full Gandor's up next, so let's see what Full has to do. Do not forget your bardic inspiration this time, please. <laughs> yes. Otherwise, I will have been here for nothing. So, so I'm still uh, wrapped up, right? Yeah, you're wrapped up. All right, you're time. swaddled by, by pumpkin patch vines. Yeah, I'm like, I think it's time for y'all to get up off of me. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> so you, gonna, you tell uh, him. Right, I'm gonna roll athletics. Uh, that is a three. <laughs> all right. And a five, okay, all right. Yeah, Plus five, so that's great. 13. A 13 will, act, yep, meet her be, baby. Uh, that'll <laughs> <Okay>. help you <laughs> escape your grapple. Um, I think that's your action. Okay, yeah. Yeah, uh, great. Yeah. What What else, is there, a, do you have a bonus action you'd like to do? Uh, yeah, no, I, I can't. That's that, that I'm, I just. Okay, all right. Dust yourself off. So that is, actually, that is actually the last, you, that is actually the last pumpkin patch that was, uh, or did, was someone else attached? Yeah, was someone else attached was, to a no. pumpkin patch? It was just us. It was just y'all, y'all yeah. two. Okay. They, with the witch approaching or the hag approaching, the pumpkin, as you do escape your grapple, the, the pumpkins release, and they lay down and almost create a almost like leaves on the ground, a walkway, a red carpet or a pumpkin patch carpet for this hag to walk through. Uh, a side of the hollow tree just rolls to the side and four wind up soldier toys walk out <laughs> like that. And the hag marches forward. Behind her, uh, she, she has chains and she's dragging little cages of six children. Some of oh. them, all of them are fey children. Um, some of them are, are, some of them are human children, but some of them are fey children. Uh, mushrooms, uh, one that looks almost like a donkey, uh, another herring gone, um, that, that put type a of creature child. in a cage. Who mm. would do that? <laughs> it's awful. She yeah. absolutely just awful. Just bludgeon so. them before that opportunity. Well, yeah. Yeah. That one was At least take, <laughs> take them out. She of drags music. them on their through their cages uh, towards you. They're all attached to just little hooks around her belt. Um, and she's actually carrying a beat up and battered crate, a wooden crate. On the front, Looks it looks like it's painted uh, in purple, um, all caps. It says G-I-F-F-I-E-S, uh, -F -F -E Giffies. Um, and she walks forward. Before she does anything, would anyone like to do something? Mm. We'll go. We'll go down the line since since I've cut the battle a little short. Pendamir first. What would you like to do? Mm. What can you accomplish with a two or a three? Yeah, that's the way I'm thinking right now. <laughs> yeah, yeah. <laughs> just, I'm just, just going to roll a D four in, in place of a D twenty. Now it's the same yeah. thing. They're the same dice to me. <laughs> um, I'm going to I'm going to keep my words to myself until it is time, okay. until the appropriate moment. Yeah, I okay. was going to do this. Anyone? Yeah, full yeah. Claude, a caper. Yeah. I'd like to take a quick check on Tip Tap. Just uh, <laughs> Tip Tap. See what's dead. going. See, tip see, Tap. See, yeah. Oh, Good call. Oh, Tip Tap. In okay. there. How I miss thee. Tip Tap. Okay, you open. You open your. You open your chest, and inside, uh, the the rabbit, the herring gone, I should say, is. Passed out. He's unconscious. It's unclear oh. at the moment oh, if he's okay. dead or not. Okay. Might not be can dead. I? Can, Might can not I? Be dead. Can I do any type of medicine check? To Absolutely. See? You can stabilize him for sure. Oh, okay. I'll, I'd like to stabilize him. Uh, all right, buddy. I'm gonna lay these metal hands on you. Let me. Seventeen. Know. Seventeen. Oh, 17. Uh, but uh, minus one, so sixteen. Okay. You reach in there and and you realize that his his little heart just went flutter flutter a little bit too fast this the vines uh he, he really did just pass out so when you're stabilizing him um you actually do wake him up 
And as, yeah, you you look into his eyes, and he. How are his eyes? Are they leaking? Oh, they're fine. <laughs> yeah, yeah. They're fine. Okay. No, Merv's okay. like dabbing them. But, really even, <laughs> but even more so, he his eyes have gone so vacant, and he looks at you as if he does not have any recognition, and he still holds his cup of tea, and then he turns his focus to Griselda, and he hops out of your hand, no. and he That's why I kept and he, That's why. he hops towards Griselda, and he kind of bows to her and says, there. I brought them to you. You son of a... Can I go oh. now? Bring it back. Yeah, you want me to swing it now? <laughs> Bring it out. How you feeling now, Merv? Merv is friends all animals, okay? I'd like to take back my holding of an action. <laughs> yeah. Um, having heard that, uh, Pendamir is going to attempt to put Gr uh, Griselda to sleep as soon as she walks out. Amazing. Okay, so Ooh. yeah, you You're cast gonna sing a song? sleep. I'm gonna cast sleep on. We her. just need to roll hit points to see if you can. Uh, I. Yeah, it's, screw it. Let's just roll hit points and see if you do her. Normally, the way sleep works is you tar it, it just auto targets the creatures with the lowest hit, hit points, points first. Yeah. But this is the Fey Wild, and when I say Fey Wild, I mean the Fun Wild. So let's have some fun. Um, Pendamir, go ahead and roll uh, the hit points. You're gonna be rolling. Give me one second. Do do do. Um, do, do, do. Two d8. Sorry, this. Five d8. Sorry, sorry, sorry. If you're casting this as a second, a second level spell, seven d8. Yeah. So I only have his first. Sorry. I, it's a first level spell. First level spell. Okay. I think it's five. You you could cast it as a second level. Well, spell. let's do it as a second. Then. Yeah. Dude, kick it up a notch. Yeah, kick it up a notch. Uh, so ten, eighteen. Okay. Twenty nine. Uh, wow, thirty six. It's like the best rolls I've had. <laughs> All of my good Thank rolls God. happened right there in those D8s. He's back, That's baby. the entire session <laughs> in those back, D8s. Baby. Let's go! He had Let's us in the first half. Oh, the first man. Lap. Full send. Bussin on God. I don't I, I have no idea. She's she. she, she. Looking yeah, up on TikTok. I'm not sure. Badge. <laughs> Stop. I don't know. Kevin, stop. <laughs> it hurts me. As so my skateboard you, fellow kids. You've got to go. You... You basically, in the Feywild, the way that sleep looks like is you have summoned the coziest quilted blanket that anyone has ever seen, and it, it's just so cozy, and it, it flies forth from your hands, and it wraps, it snuggles all the way up to Griselda, and, sh and it, it kind of snuggles her, and she's like, aw, I like that. And, and as it snuggles up to her, and she, she just, t she takes it, and she goes, but we're not. Here for that Damn, today, all those for nothing. No. are we? What? It wasn't it. me. It was him. It was him. <laughs> <laughs> I swear it was him. I, I appreciate. <laughs> yeah, you you're in my <laughs> domain now. Okay. I will sleep when I want. He was just trying to give a gift. We we know that that's a just being big very deal nice. around here. Just being very nice. You look wonderful generous. today. Oh, it is a big deal. In fact. She sets this. She sets her crate down. I have an entire table full. Of, it will be full of giffies. Pronounce jiffies, I think. But yeah. sorry. Go ahead. Giffies. <laughs> I love giffies and prezzies, and that is all I want. Giffies, prezzies, toys, and I also love candy. And and um, the the herringon, your tip tap friend, stands to the side of her, and he he just makes a little gesture like this um, with with um, glug bulb, and the cages unsnap of the six creatures, the six children, and each of the six children, uh, also in a trance, um, have like almost a yeah drawn smile you can tell that their real mouths just look like this just so vacant and the smile is painted on the teeth that they would have are painted on as well and it's it's almost uh, this forced 
yeah, forced smile as if you're like shoving a, a pen in your mouth. Uh, and it's all painted and drawn, but sloppily with red dripping and white dripping paint to represent the mouths well, and teeth. They, um, they look very happy. I think we can go. Yeah. There's no problem yeah. here. Everybody I don't, I don't, uh, think, so. very happy. I don't yeah. think so. It's a great time. Yes. Yeah, yeah, this is weird. I got a question yes. for these kids. I'm like, why so weird looking, right? Mervyn, it looks like Mervyn the Badger wants to do something. Yes, I did. So quick question. Um, how heavy does do the Giffies look? Um, the, there's nothing on the table or the crate as of yet, so it's empty. It's an empty uh, crate. It just says it has the words Giffy's painted on it. I think she's gonna try and turn us into Giffy. Yeah, yeah. Um, Merv is gonna cast Mage Hand. Okay. And lift the crate up. Okay. And try and I don't know if what kind of like foliage is around us. If there's a structure that the Mage Hand can just try and smash the crate. Amazing. Uh, yeah. Amazing. Okay. You can do that. Uh, the you so your mage hand in this world, um, it it's it's a, a very animated mage hand, right? <laughs> like it has it 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 is basically it forms into a shadow puppet, and the shadow puppet uh, kind of also turns into just weird animals, llamas and ducks, and it, it keeps forming. And as it comes forth on the box, it it actually does look like a shadow until you are able to lift the box up above. Um, I'm the Griselda's going to try and grab it, but she's gonna have disadvantage because this was uh, unexpected. So that's a six. Um, she, she she grabs for it and, and she goes, what, what, what about my giffies? And um, as she does that, the, the box just lifts up, the crate lifts up and you smash it into um, the mushrooms nearby that are just in a circle. And uh, it, it kind of pummels the box exactly like you wanted it to. Um, Griselda, Griselda says, but what about my giffies? I need giffies. Give me giffies. Um, and she scrambles to the she scrambles to the broken box and tries to piece it back together. Um, and I stab and wiggle. All right, Griselda. Oh. Let's let's put it into this. No fighting. My friends, the kids. Let them go. I'll sacrifice myself. I'll be your weird slave or whatever you have if you wanted to chain me up in your dungeon or what have you whatever you, you want just just let my friends and these kids go and i'll go into your tree down in the bedroom basement area and i'll just be there and i'll never go anywhere just to, just for my friends sake just for their sake think of the kids this is one of the most romantic things I've ever heard in my entire life. Mm. Uh, and she, <laughs> she says, I'm, I'm uninterested. Feels like what you're talking about is human connection. And my love language is presence. I couldn't be, I couldn't be more clear. I want giffies, I want prezzies. Put a bow on it. <laughs> Uh, uh. And she's piecing it together, and you see the six the six uh, children. You actually see a uh, the myconid, the, uh, the a mushroom folk um, who who doesn't necessarily belong here in this land. But she approaches, and she she ta she approaches Griselda as Griselda's kneeling in the kneeling in the mushrooms, going, uh, "My prezzies, my prezzies, I want prezzies." And and this myconid child, um, who does just look like a mushroom cap, and she's uh, ambling forward uh, with the painted mouth on, and she taps Griselda, and she offers Griselda uh, the um, she offers Griselda a tiny a tiny music stand that looks like it could be for a pixie or a sprite, but it's made of, it's made of brass. And Griselda looks at her and says, and she smiles at you and says, yes, prezzies, giffies. You mean like, like this? And I slowly saunter up, like this old thing. Shh. 
Oh. Oh. Can I talk now? Yeah, 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 yeah. Yeah, oh, okay. That was just. Sorry, pull your finger back from your mouth. Yeah, yeah, yeah. That's good. Yeah, yeah, yeah. 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 Yeah, yeah, yeah
Okay, so the music sheet help the music stand. Do we have other gifts that could merge? There, there, the, there is now in her hand. There is a music stand, a glass cylinder of tiny balls, a small chalice shaped, um, shaped like a, a sprite containing a thimble full of spiced wine. Um, there is a tiny foam, smooth bust, uh, like a head um, that's just smooth. There's no discerning features. Um, there is a small sausage-shaped hairball, which upon closer inspection looks like a finger. Um, uh, and then there is a vial of liquid with a note attached with a string that says, Fomorian breast milk. Go ahead and drink. Yum. I, yeah, yeah, I mean. And yes. we're drunk. Um, well, I have a fingernail. Is there a yes. way that I can quickly assess if it would fit on the sausage? It would. Yeah, um, I'm, yeah, let's, let's, let's gussy up the, so it's not a sausage, it's yeah, a sausage shape. Oh, sorry, it's just a sausage shape. It's just a sausage, sausage yeah. shape. It's just a sausage shape. You get the sausage. It, 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 I mean, yeah. Yeah, I, it I does just, look like a hairy finger. Yeah, well, let's put some iron. Okay, so, so right now it's in her hands. What would you like to do? The the finger is in her hands. Is there a way that I could like kind of distract her? Don't worry, Pocket I got set. it. Yeah. Oh. <laughs> yeah. oh okay. 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 So he's running forward. It somehow in slow motion. Oh. Perfect. He's looking. Oh, she's looking over it's at you. Was a run? Uh, she's distracted now. What would you well, like to do? I would like yeah. to put the nail where the nail would fit on the. Finger, finger that in is her on, hand. Yeah, on the finger. Uh, they, yes, the two merge together. The finger and the fingernail are one. It breaks the curse between <laughs> one of the children, um, as and she collects the two and says, "Oh, my giffies, but the, they're not doing what I thought they would." You've broken that curse for that child. But, what yes. about the head one? Is shaped like uh, a very bus? Sadly, like I. I want to. Don't want to give up my hat though. Uh, okay. I've grown attached to the hat. I think I. Give your, give your hat. Yeah, oh, we, we, we're running out of time to decide. Now might be the time. Yeah. I will give the hat up yeah. and also attempt while there is a distraction. Oh, yes, yes, Pocket good, distraction. Sand. good work for it. Yeah, okay, yeah, yeah. perfect. So you you uh, doff your wig, uh, stick it on, stick it on the tiny little uh, bust on her bust on her uh, in her hand. They form together and bam, you create another child. Gandor, uh, it seems to be working. Please continue your distraction. Yes. I do a okay. hair Oh yes. and yes. I do the shuffle. Yes, merge, merge. Right. Right. It looks like you would merge. like to do it. What is it? The croquet, croquet set? set. And yeah. you would like to merge it with. Uh, with the 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 balls that go with the the balls. balls the balls the yes. balls yes. Yes. You, the balls the balls always merge with the balls so you uh, throw your croquet set into her hands and she collects them with joy but meanwhile the the balls of uh, uh, they jump into the, the wooden box y'all making this so hard for me um uh, <laughs> the, 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 the balls jump into the wooden box and they merge and bam another child is freed and they run up to you and hug your and hug your legs i've got a chalice what would you to, to merge with? Uh, there was a the, the, either the milk, the breast milk. There was the breast, breast milk. The breast. But there was a, no. There was one other object. There was, there was a wine. Thing. Yeah, there was, there a, was wine a wine thing. thing right? Spi there was spiced wine. Uh, yeah, there was a thimble full of spiced wine, mm. and there was a, mm. a vial with a string attached that says Fomorian <laughs> I might just need to hit her with the morning star. Put the wine in the chef. Put the wine in my cold. Okay, all right, all right. Put the wine in my cold. Don't worry. All right, can I get this wine in my chalice? Uh, can, I, can I use that wine in my chalice? You're while going she's to. Practice? Sorry, so you're going to take the thimble full of wine yeah. and put, put it, in, it in your chalice? In the cauldron. In the, in the cauldron? The put cauldron it in the cauldron. That he gave her. Yeah. Sorry. Are you, okay, so so by the way. <laughs> gonna, two liquids and oh two God. liquid containers. There, Throw there, them together. The, the See what happens. The thimble full of wine is in her hands. So the uh, geography matters. Do you take it from her hands? Oh, no. No, I'm not going to take it no. from her hands. <laughs> okay. I'm not. You, so what do you do? I'm not. I'm going to. I'm going to. So you're not going to do that, but I'm what are gonna you going to do? Well, that's a great question. That's a great question. <laughs> okay. And when we come back from this commercial break. No, wait, we'll the video's a... over. I know! Uh, I'm going. <laughs> we have like five minutes left. I don't know what to do with the thimble. This, I got this Well, thing. there's the this... other thing. There's the what? The, oh. what's the... Ooh, the breast milk in the spit. Size, the breast milk in the spit. Put that together. Put that together. And then, okay, the breast milk in the, in the spit. I'm gonna pour some breast milk. So you have okay to take to the breast milk from her That's hand. That's in her hand you as well. Yeah. yeah. Then I'm taking oh. it. Give me that. Okay. Oh. I'm going. I'm grabbing it. I don't care what happens. If I become a kid, I'm gonna free some kids. No. What, take if it. you take the toy from her hand, which yeah. is a thimble full of breast milk, yeah. you you feel as though you feel great. Oh. 
Nice. You feel like you've been this good is this exactly whole time. where you're meant to be. <laughs> yeah. Everything is fine. You're so happy. The what your friends see is you shift into a candy golem. You oh. Oh. a little bit of a gingerbread man, a little bit of uh, some some yeah pe yeah okay so some peppermint sticks for arms, uh, gumdrops for eyes. Oh. You turn directly into candy but you feel great it's you better you taught the the child who was associated with your your um uh breast milk uh, uh had tiny wings that grow on her neck elbows and the backs of her knees just tiny little wings everywhere and she and you grasp hands as you turn into tiny candy golems um there is one last toy left it is full ga gandors uh uh, your, sorry, your, um, no, you gave the cauldron. Sorry, who's got anything? Does anyone have anything left? No. I did mine. Do you do yours? I did mine. Okay, yeah. so everything has merged together, but in the last, in the last uh, tr trying out, oh, I got this, I'm gonna merge the two together, you were never, she looks at you and says, the rest of you have passed the test. You should never have taken from me. I said I wanted Giffy's, but you have taken. You feel great. Yeah, You're yeah. like, you don't feel the scolding at <laughs> all. Taste. If, if, if I take a bite out of Caper, do I get hit points back? If you take a what? A bite a out bite. of him? Yeah, you can go ahead and roll to take a bite out of your friend, um, <laughs> I, if you want. Well, I, no one, no one, had, <laughs> no one healed no, me. No, roll away. Okay, I yeah, go this. ahead. Uh, oh, I finally got a 16. <laughs> <laughs> So, this so, is happening so right you move now. forward, and Griselda says, "No, no, don't, don't, don't say it. You cannot save him. You can only eat. Oh, you just, you want to eat? Him. Oh, okay, that's fine then. I would also I like to eat this. him." And Griselda, uh, Griselda picks up the newly formed candy golem child. Um, she takes a finger and breaks it off. Uh, it snaps Ooh. just like hard candy. Uh, what are you going for? Like what on on? Ke uh, not Kevin, what on Caper looks good to you? I mean, I would say like an arm. Yeah, an arm. Okay, so this will be this will be almost like a Kit Kat, you know, like uh, yeah, yeah like snap it off but of chocolate. The hole. And, yeah, yeah, you can just snap wow. off the <laughs> arm um, and you you take a bite, and she takes a bite, and she says it almost didn't work, but now I have a material plane candy. Uh, that is not where the adventure ends because adventurers live forever, um, but. For now, we just have to wonder what is going to happen to our intrepid heroes as five out of six of them <laughs> <laughs> gave their, tr their fey wild trinkets back after being completely betrayed by a happy-go-lucky little herringon boy. And then one out of six of the intrepid heroes uh, panicked <laughs> in light of a better word and wanted to merge and make everything better but in fact, he became something that he never meant to be. And in this- A snack for my friend. A snack for his friend. Delicious snack. So yeah. as the, the adventures continue, but uh, for now that is where we have to, that is where we have to leave off. I loved playing with this you guys. Fun. That is a Thank first you. look. I, I, I can't tell you how much I enjoyed the, it's the wild beyond the witch light is where the, the, the book comes in and it just defines how you build domains and how you build guardians of domains and how to kind of mess with the magic that you already know exists in Dungeons and Dragons. So uh, curses, packs, legends, um, vibes of entire domains, it's all spelled out for you in there and I, I super hope that, uh, yeah, you were able to enjoy it along with me. So thanks again to our intrepid cast of heroes. And for now, I think. Thank you, Amy. Thank you. Yeah. Thank you. We got to get back to the show. <laughs> 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 yeah. Oh, man.